Okay, looks like it's all recording. Welcome back, everybody. As you can see, we're continuing our quest through Earthbound today. Last time I was playing this, um, I just finished off the factory, and we were gonna head in this cave, but then I really had to stop playing, because I was running out of time. Now let's see what's in here. No enemies this time. Hold up. It just things. You guys let me know how the audio sounds and all that. We just kind of got started. Now let's fight and get warmed up. You confront the tough mobile sprout and friends. Okay. Let's just hit them with the, the high PSI stuff and try PSI fire because they look plant-like. Well, they are plant-like. Why not? Let's go for it. And Jeff, uh, stand there and get experience points. Come on, first battle homesickness. No, 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 no. We don't need to... We don't need to get ridiculously unlucky again. Because apparently I've been getting really bad luck for this playthrough. Speedrunners would have reset like a thousand times by now. That's not really saying much. It's a first time play. You won. Oh, that's a lot. Jeff's level is 26. Okay. I don't know how I can be over-leveled when beating, like, literally any enemy that's in my path just gives me literally thousands. Well, Ness is over-leveled compared to these two, because Ness you have for a while. And she's got a mushroom now. That's unfortunate. Well. We're advancing forward. We'll just keep going. It doesn't stop her from attacking completely, right? I sure hope it doesn't. Probably find a butterfly along the way. Let's do this. Uh-oh. Oh, no. No, no, no. Come on, we just started. I can't have Ness this happen to Ness. Audio a bit quiet for others? You sure? Because it's peeking near the, uh, the yellow there. Looking higher than normal. Sounds fine to you, sounds fine to you. It might just be you, then. Hang on, we have to immediately turn back. Now, I will ask, I will do a Teddy help for this. We just started here, hang on. I need to get back to the Mr. Saturn village. Please tell me there's a doctor there. Because I need to talk to one right now. Here's a chance for a surprise attack. Well, let's do it. There is? Okay, good. Let's just do this. The mushroom is going to affect my controls very shortly, so I need to get across right back to there right away. It's across from the inn? Okay, thank you. Excellent. Excellent. Well, I know I probably used the doctor last time, but that was a few days ago, and all the houses look the same. Plus, the hospitals in town are separated by the healers, so I didn't know if they do the same thing as Mr. Saturn. Anyway, we may as well do this to heal up. We'll stay at the inn. Yep, Discord's closed, phone is muted, no spam calls today. Plan is to make good progress today. Do that. We may have to immediately turn back the way we came. However, extra EXP. Dang, that's a lot. PSI, shield, uh... Which one was that? Jeez, this cave is packed all of a sudden. And it's far too narrow to run away. Sigma, right. Yeah, that is the symbol he uses in Mega Man X, so... Ness is feeling funky. I'm sure Ness is fine. Walking off, sailor. You win! Ness and friends gained that much. Okay. Hope the microphone sounds good. I'm not sure if I'm too close or too far away from it. Hang on, let's get to him. Controls are fine. This was this one was the save point in shop, was it not? Hi, you gonna be buying? Okay, yeah. Which town what or sorry, which house was it? Uh-oh. Yep, mushrooms kicking in. 
it up here. Appreciate. He's blocking that way off. Hang on. Am I losing my mind? It is switching directions every, like, couple seconds, is it? I gotta go through the cave to go down. Okay. See if I can get to it. It does do that? Okay. I hope it's this house. Okay. Just gotta figure out which direction goes where before it switches again. Come on. You want to slumber. Yes. This is the inn. We'll go ahead and use it, and we'll use the uh, hospital next across here. Go. Yeah, this one. Please, please. I am Dr. Saturn. Right. He's the one in the trash can. Yes. Oh, thank goodness. That is one of the worst status conditions ever. Pretty much have to go back and heal it right away. Hang on a second. It's only Ness that inverts the controls, right? If, if I would have left Paula alone... Um... I wouldn't invert the controls, I hope. That's what I was going for, anyway. Well, we gotta be strong enough to take those guys out, and th but they're kind of blocking the way. Oh, now there's a butterfly. Let's do it. Come on, Ness and friends, we can do our best. No mushrooms, no mushrooms. Anyone other than lead party member is shroomed, control, stay fine. Okay, that's good. Let's go ahead and just do this. Ah, missed. Jeff and Paula have some HP now, but geez. Ness has, like, way more than them. Okay, Sprout is down. Don't need to use any PP on them. Give him a little boop. Give him a little bop. Paula taking damage. That's excellent. They're only sprouts for crying out loud, and I can't one-shot them. Hang on. Forget what button opens this stuff. 3,000, 8,000, 3,000 for Jeff. Okay, we'll get there in a few fights. Oh, nice. Apparently, I should have just used my PSI. Why couldn't I have gotten this spawn? Like, these spawns when I went through the cave first. I had, like, five spawns on the way in and out. Anyway, let's take these guys out. Hmm. And with the PSI fire, make sure that mushroom needs to go. Don't! Oh, come on! He, he's faster than everyone in the party, so... There's just nothing I can do if that happens, huh? Pretty annoying. Okay, the mushroom's down. Paula's just gonna have to deal with it. Afraid that's just how it's gonna be. It's trying life up on itself. This is fine, we can take it out. 49 to Ness. Excellent. I think that was Jeff that landed the crit there. Ness and friends gained that much. Okay, to play it safe, I'm gonna go into Ness, use a life up on Paula. I'm pretty sure I need the uh, third stage of PSI healing to cure a mushroom in the field, do I not? Because, like, I think beta only lets you use it for, like, colds and stuff after. Okay, let's do this. Do that. Um... I'm gonna use a spy and see if their weakness actually is. Okay, they're using shields anyway. Yeah, Beta doesn't heal it like I thought. PSI Teddy Blast. Damn, that's not doing too much. It's 41. Yeah, it is vulnerable to fire like I thought. Let's just do this. They're bullying Ness now. I'm gonna have to use a heal after this fight. He 
DK fire is supposed to be the row move. Smash Brothers makes me think it's like this tiny ass thing that can only hit one at a time. Okay, Jeff leveled up. That's a pretty piss poor level up. I feel like I'm getting a lot of piss poor ones. Alright, let's take him out. So many of these enemies seem to be in spots where I can't dodge them. It's especially harder to dodge because I have like a row of three people now. If they touch any of them, we get into a battle. Eighty-five. That sprout is gray. What is it growing? Ness's level is 33. Vitality up. Okay, Ness gets more HP, because clearly he needs that. I'm gonna use this on Ness. I love how Ness having around the HP of Paula and Jeff is low for him. Like, what's his total? 270, and these two are at 120. And at this point, they're only like six levels below him. Damn. These enemies? Okay, I thought they were like bugs for a second where they'd swarm me. Point of slumber. Paula takes it. Let me take a look at that. Goods. I have no idea why I'm going this way, but it seemed to be the next age, uh, the next place to go, so we're in here. Let's see. Point of slumber must be equipped as other. Increases your defense and luck. Oh, okay. Hold up. She has the red ribbon. Is it any good? Oh, yeah. Gives her a little bit more defense. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we can do that. Does... Hang on a second. Does Jeff have an other? He has a hard hat. Okay. He has nothing for body. We don't have anything for that at the moment. Oh. Okay, this is why we came in here. Right, I think the Saturn said something about it, and something about this being back there. Well... There's no point in going back to heal. I say we YOLO. Everybody just leveled up, right? She's got Mushroom Eyes, but... Hmm. Hang on. I want to test something. What if a butterfly can spawn in here? What if I pop in and out for a second? Okay, good thing I went back in. Oh! And enemies can spawn in here. Well, that's fantastic. Oh no, it's gonna it's gonna hit me with this. No no. Okay, good. Good, good, good. This is bad. I don't think I've ever successfully fled from a single battle yet. Every time I try, it just doesn't work. Jeff got poisoned. Ah, oh, damn it. Let's cure that after. Let's do it. Hold up. I was worried I just yanked my capture card wire out. That would have been bad. Running is always like a flat 50% chance. Enemy left a present. Sprig of parsley. What does that do? Oh, come on. There's still more? Hang on. Let me reset until there's nothing in here again. Let's cure Jeff. Excellent. All right, put myself at a bit of a disadvantage, but it's like, if I lose, I lose like $40. Uh, a little over, almost 50. You know what I mean? Um, I say we just go for it. I'll, you know what? I'll even top up Jeff before we do it. I don't have much PP for this, but hell with it. Wait. Oh, I thought the mushroom was gone from Paula, but it just blended into Ness's hat for a second, and I thought it wasn't there anymore. Okay. You finally got here. This is the third Your Sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. Alright. Oh. Okay, look at that thing. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna try the flash, since we're in a bad situation anyway. Try PSI Fire Beta. And we'll spy on this thing. I'll try B. Okay, not bad. 
did not work on the sprout. Could not stop crying. Could not stop crying. Now those guys drop their accuracy, I guess. Offense this, defense that. It's vulnerable to fire. Well, I mean, I could have told you that. Hmm. You know what? Hang on. I'm going to try a shield on Jeff. Paula's going to do fire beta here. Jeff, pop that sprout. It started to grow. Set the plants on fire, yes. Who saw that one coming? I wonder if killing the grunts in these fights gives you any extra EXP. Only 34, huh? That's pretty piss poor. Okay, then. Hmm. Let me see what a regular bash does to you. Keep using fire beta. What do I have here? Hmm. Nothing I'd want to use on a pretty bad attempt anyway, so I'm I'm probably better off just like copping them for extra damage. Always a chance I could get the smash. Grind paralysis. Jeff's body became numb. Okay. I'm gonna uh hang on a second. Does healing alpha cure paralysis, or is that beta only? Genuine question, you can tell me. I don't have time to bring up the help teddy. So I can't remember what beta adds to that, or if I even have access to paralysis cures yet. Oh boy. New enemies do add to the XP every time they do. Okay, that's good. That is good. Let me see. Don't think either of them do? Darn it. Okay. That's the case. Let's just keep doing this and hope I kill it in time. Jeff can only do nothing in Spy. I hope it wears off after a turn. 181, not bad. Okay, Ness can walk it off. Uh, just to play it safe, I'm gonna use a uh, Recover on Ness. All I can keep doing this. Oh, we don't have enough, huh? Let me... To all enemies. Oh! Oh! That's handy. If there was a group still, but I don't think it'll work on him. I'm gonna make sure, though. She tried to use it on Jeff, of course. It did not work on Ness. You're darn right it didn't work on Ness. Let's try this again. The mushroom makes her confused, clearly. Do nothing, Jeff. So Jeff's just kind of stuck like that. Oh, nice. I got four. 63 to Ness. Okay, we'll try this. Paula's going to go for a fire because she has enough for that now. And Jeff's going to do nothing. Yeah, those charms would be useful right now. I should have put them all on. Or maybe Ness has it. Oh, that damn. That's a lot. 28. Oh, baby. The offense went up. Speed went up. Oh, baby. IQ went up. Luck went up. Maximum HP. Oh, that's very, very good for her. Okay. Oh, that's that's fine. Oh, then I'll take that, too. Not a bad level up for those two. Yeah, Nis still had his, but I think I sold or deposited the other. Damn. Well, we get a heal here, right? Kind of went in at a disadvantage, but it still worked out. Yeah. So that's three out of eight, right? It is still eight melodies, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember. It's usually seven or eight MacGuffins. Ness thought he heard his mother from far away. She said, Be it thoughtful, strong boy. Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of the Milky Well. Excellent. Now we're topped up for health? Hell yeah. Hang on. Will the soundstone tell me? 
Oh, right. It shows this right here. I forgot about that. Okay. Okay. It goes to all of them there. Well, we got three. You more to get. Oh, they're running away from me now. That's right. They're all scared because we're strong. We beat the boss. Surprise attack? No problem. Hit him with that fire. And Jeff can just go pop pop from the back. Damn. Didn't even need the PSI Teddy from Ness. And these guys are giving still like 2,000 a pop. What is... Hold up. Ness is about to level up. Okay, Jeff is the one that requires a lot right now. Let's get him. Here's a chance for a surprise attack. Bash. All it can just use the PSI fire, and that's pretty much it. Jeff attacks. Paula smash that sprout. How do you smash a sprout? One, one, three HP. Shield beta. Okay, she gets a little bit. Defense down. Mm-hmm. Now we're gonna head back to the Dr. Sat- not Dr. Saturn- Mr. Saturn Village. And I guess we're gonna go back to Threed and go to the deserts. So I should have taken care of all the zombie stuff, so that should be dealt with. Oh, give me a break, dude. The mushroom is still faster than us. What a jerk. I like how it says the enemy doesn't die, it just says they stopped moving. Does it say that in the Japanese version? Like, does it just say they straight up die when you hit them? Because I feel like that would be a localization change, just to say they stopped moving. Oh, there's a butterfly. And there's a sprout down there. Stop moving, yeah? Okay. I didn't want to make it too weird. Now let's go through this cave and see who shows up again. I could run by them now, but you know what? We can easily take them out. And the doctor's ahead anyway, so why the hell not? Do that. Game tame. Some of them say stop moving, I know, yeah. When you beat up a human, it says return to senses. Because as we all know, humans are all always nice creatures. They just need to come to their senses. Humans are nice. They don't do anything wrong, ever. You just use this one. Anything? Are uh, you just showing up? Yeah, we just uh, did the third sanctuary location, boss. And now I'm on my way back to Mr. Saturn. Then I guess I'm heading back to Freed. Yeah, we beat some sense into them. That's what. That's all we're doing. Excellent. Surprise opening attack. Bash the mushroom. Do that. All is feeling funky. And she attacked us. Good, good job, Paula. Good job. <laughs> good job, Paula. Good job. I love the status effects of this game. I'm gonna try and run. And did! Wow, first successful run, finally. I was a few steps away. At least, um, Dr. Saturn makes it so I don't have to pay for the individual hospital fees, right? 
This is actually the best place this could have happened. I knew there was a chance that could happen, but hey, I was getting bank there. Dad's probably gonna drop a whole bunch of money when he finds out what creatures I've been attacking. You want slumber? Yes. Oh wait, no, I need to go to the doctor first. They're not gonna have their PP restored. Will they? No. Open the door. Yes, operate on us. Okay, they got their PP back. Or does Ness always have 90? Yeah, he does. Okay, it looks like we're all set up, so let's go down here. This was how I first entered the village. I need to find my way back to Threed. I can't open the map here, because it's only for towns. These bugs should be dying in one hit. Heck yeah. Dr. Saturn is doing a good job, so why shouldn't I trust him? He doesn't charge me ridiculous prices, too. This roach wants to fight. It's also wearing shoes. I just noticed that. Let me take a peek at what we are for levels here. 10,000, 6,000, 1,500. We'll get there. 500 doesn't go a long way anymore, that's for sure. Got the shoes. Hi, Lorelai, how you doing? Oop. He's doing a pose like he's yelling at me for being on his lawn. The violent roach became tame. Only a little bit, but it adds up. Okay, here come the frogs. I feel like I've seen that frog sprite somewhere before. The overworld one. Okay. I think they're weak to freeze. To 11? Yeah, it looks like they are. And they're armored, so obviously our regular attacks don't seem to do too much to it. Probably best to just do this. Holy moly, he's getting iced. Broken spray can. Sure, you can take it. Okay, we went up there before. Oh, god darn it. I didn't even see that one. Well then. Going out to dinner is fun. I went, for, I went out to eat last night, but I had like the saltiest fries ever, and my stomach did not like them later. Hang on, let's try this. PSI Teddy. PSI Fire. And Jeff can shoot. Perfect. I absolutely needed to get out of the house for a bit. I've been cooped up streaming all week. Because, like, um, earlier in the week, we had big snowstorms, so I couldn't go anywhere. I needed some fresh air, as they say. Okay, there's that frog. Wait, did someone level up? I think it was Jeff. I didn't read what he got, though. Probably wasn't very much if the text went by quickly. Yeah. They're in the darn way. Jeff got some HP. Good. Okay. Do that. Paula can use freeze on the frog. And Jeff can be Jeff. Ness and Paula can kind of just kill the group before Jeff even gets to do anything. But his presence is welcome. He helps. I need to get him some more items, but I don't think Threed was selling, like, bottle rockets or anything, or the bottle caps. Wh whatever the hell they were called. I think rockets. Alright, let's go. By the way, chat, on the subject of Mother stuff, um, I remember, th remember that there's a fan game called Toho Mother. Maybe I'll try that one sometime. Come here. 
I'm not sure how long that one is. Okay, we're finally out of there. Oh yeah, we have to go through the graveyard. Good lord, this is a long walk back. Here we go. Here we go. There's no enemies here, I guess because we took care of Belch. So I guess it's not that bad. Nobody here! Anybody here? Would play it after Mother 3 because it would have spoilers. Okay, that's fine. Oh, hey! Greed isn't blue. Hold up. Thank you for bringing peace and happiness back to Threed. Peace, love. I won't forget you. Won't you come back to Threed sometime? I really didn't think those kids could have saved the town. Uh, who would have ever imagined it? Since the leader of the monsters is gone, the ghosts in the tunnel have disappeared. The buses can get through the tunnel now. Okay, so I can backtrack now, too. Alrighty! I thought that was Orange Kid for a second. I want to go through the desert and go to the big city. I want to see the city. I want to smell the big city. I'm a real urban type of guy. Thank you. Okay. Looks like the color of the map also changed. Sweet! You're heroes! That rocks! That's right. We did it. Couple of kids going to the graveyard to defeat the zombies. No problem. Heard there's a guy who's digging for buried treasure in Dusty Dunes Desert. Share that treasure. Share would be nice. Okay, buddy. This town used to be dark, but thanks to you, now it's bright. Yeah, we did it. I had to run all over to escape the zombies. Now I can't remember where my house is. Are they still caught in the paper? Oh, no. What is the point of you? Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius. Okay, say fuzzy pickles. What a great photograph. It always bring back memories. Go away! Ugh, oh, pardon me. Hang on a second. I'm just stuffy. It's still freezing out. My arms are also dead tired. I did gym before streaming chat. Oh, they're locked up. Okay. The town's at peace, but my wife and kids won't speak to me. What's the problem? You made our lives peaceful. I can sleep again. It's like you used a bunch of peace paper, right? Ha ha ha. I didn't forget your comments last time, buddy. It became really quite peaceful compared to before. The monsters are no longer in the tunnel. The round flying object, a kid with glasses, was on board. The craft landed near the graveyard, right? Can you fix it? Yeah? It was heavily damaged though, right? Now you can go through the tunnel anytime. What if I say no? Such a waste, but we can't do much about it. Okay. Now we've done that. Don't think the insides of the houses would change. The desert is... hold up. Down there. I'm guessing I have to walk to the desert not take the bus through it. Otherwise, there'd be no reason to explore it. Whoa, dude, like, my old girlfriend from Tucson hunted me down, man. I'm totally bummed, because I have another girlfriend here in Threed. Uh, uh, good luck with that. Haha, check him out. I think he's the bee's knees. Oops, I mean way cool. Well, he used to be in a band. After the bus has started running again, I decide to come see my boyfriend. I really shouldn't have, though. Did you guys, like, break up? I'm not sure who is at fault here. It depends on how the communication went. From the bus stop at the hotel all the way to Floorside is how much, do you remember? Hang on, can I go in here? There's no one in here. Let me see what happens if I walk over here. Okay. Looks like it's a long tunnel, so they expect me to ride the bus. 
I'd say he's at fault if he had two girlfriends, but, like, did they break up, though? Because, like, he said my old girlfriend. Who do we believe here? He got- he was locked in threed. Did he just decide to get a new girlfriend? Oh, I got hit by a bus. Sorry, everyone, I'm dead. Game over. Stream's over. Thank you all for turning out, but now I'm no longer bound to this earth. I'm now bound to heaven. Dead. Up above the clouds. Danger. Do not stand in the street. Read the schedule from the sidewalk. All right, then. Okay. Ness, check the bus schedule. It looks like the next bus will come pretty soon. No, this one's going to Tucson, isn't it? Okay, then I need to reset the map, so I need to walk in and out of something. Ugh. And then, he got hit by a bus, and at his funeral, they fired him. Gosh, that's not good. Okay, let's take this, I guess. This bus goes to Foreside. Can't let you on if you don't pay $6 for the fare. Sure. Yeah, everybody! We're riding the bus! The frickin' bus, everybody! Who's that guy? I didn't see him standing there before. Hope that's not important. Boop, 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 boop. So the NPCs changed. The girlfriend guy wasn't there no more. Yeah, let's get funky. Game audio still sound good? Yeah, it would have been a bad idea to try and walk through this. The orange in the cave reminds me of the minim minimalist style of off. Yeah! Look at us go. Quick question. Uh, bus stop is there. Oh, traffic jam. What would have happened if I tried to go through the caves before dealing with the zombies? Was there, was there anything... Would I come up to this? Or something else? Man, it's bumper to bumper. My job's to drive, so I can't get off the bus. It's up to you if you want to get off the bus and walk around in the desert. Hey, it's a free country. All right, buddy. This was a Coke truck in, um, Japan, right? Ghosts were in both tunnels. Oh, okay. Right, right, right. Feel sorry for the guys behind me, but I'm so bent, I'm leaving my car here and walking instead. No problem here. I heard that a little ways ahead. I heard a buffalo is running across the road. I can't move an inch. I was going to see my girlfriend in Foreside. At this pace, it'll be a hundred years by the time I get there. You're going to have a new boyfriend by the time you arrive. Welcome to the very end of the world's longest traffic jam. This traffic jam is taking forever. Man, do I need to go. I noticed that my characters are actually sweating walking around here. When I walk on the desert tiles... Is that hurting me? Doesn't seem like it. Must be just a visual effect. Hey, let's stop by the drugstore. Ooh, nice. Place to save the game. Probably new equipment. Let's do this. Dad, I need some money. Nice. Should probably sell some stuff. Good night. Keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't talk to me. What do we got? Okay. I'm assuming I don't need the jar of fly honey anymore. I can just sell the bomb. I'm never going to use it. Calorie stick as well. I may as well sell some of that. The red ribbon can get sold. What do you, what do you have? Oh, now that's what I'm talking about. Thick frying pan. It's not as good as what you got. Deluxe frying pan. Even better. Silver, coin of slumber. Okay, we should probably get a coin of slumber for both Ness and Jeff, I'd say. First, let's sell some stuff. Do it. Sell this. Yeah, you want to buy a bomb? Don't worry about it. Don't ask where I got it. I found it. Uh, it fell off a truck. Let me see here. HP sucker. I want that. Maybe I'll sell it. Paula, calorie stick is just a basic heal item that's probably outdated now. Picnic 
Take lunch. The red ribbon, that's right. We need space is what we need. Let's see. Yeah, they call them drugstores here in Canada. I don't know what you guys talk about. They call them pharmacies as well, but it's not that weird to call it a drugstore. Okay. Oops. Okay, try Paula. Get rid of this. Hang on, what does the sprig of parsley even do? I forgot to check that. Use sprinkle over food. Oh, okay, it's a spice. Maybe we can hang on to it for the picnic lunch and cup of coffee. Eh. Hmm. Could probably store a few things with you, too. We're gonna sell the other equipment as well, but... First of all, let me take out some money from the first bank of Dad. I'm just gonna grab this much. We'll put it all back in when we're done anyway. Bye. First, we're gonna buy a Mr. Baseball bat for Ness. Would you carry this? Ness, of course. Yes. Ooh, yeah, we'll take that. And yeah, you can buy that for $200. It's a steal. Don't ignore the, the hippie blood stains on it, though. Buy something else. Deluxe frying pan for her. Give it to Miss Paula. Yes. Okay, plus 10, not bad. Let's buy something. Silver bracelets. And yeah, I guess we should put these on. Hang on. What does the great charm do? Like, is it just better to have the coin of slumber? I'm not sure if I need anything for status effects. Like, the like the um, the um paralysis one was good for that last boss, but am I really going to have to worry about that now? Oh, great charms, a body equip. Oh, it's replacing the silver bra bracelet. You're right. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I'm thinking of the wrong thing. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's definitely worth it. Uh, oh, replaces the hard hat, not the bright. Okay. Sorry, the equip slots in this game confuse me sometimes, I swear. Yes. Bye. We found one and we gave it to Paula earlier, so we'll give this one to Jeff. He desperately needs this. Uh, no, that's fine. Okay, not bad. Hello there, how may I help you? Oh, you're also selling... Wet towel. Lucky sandwich. Don't really need those. We're also running an inn, mister. Oh! $210 a night? Oh, I get it. It's because of the traffic jam outside. But he's running a hustle. He's profiting off a, off a disaster. That is against the law, and I will report you to the Better Business Bureau, good sir. That's the American thing, right? I'm pretty sure that's also Canadian. For three people? Hmm. That's probably for the best. You see, our beds are really old and dusty. <laughs> probably no air conditioning. Let's deposit some money away, but we should always make sure we have at least enough for that. You know what I mean? Let's put these around. It'll be easy to get more money quickly. Let's go up here. Alright, so I can't open the map. Is that a mole? That's a freaking mole. Take it out. Taking pot shots at the wild animals. That's not weird. 152? Damn, this mole is useless. Oh! Shh, don't talk so loud. What do you want to buy, kids? You want to buy some good stuff? Ooh, that's some good stuff right there. Unfortunately, um, oh, I should load him up on bottle rockets for big fights, actually. Um, hang on, hang on. He changes things and take out some more money. And maybe I'll store some items, so move some items around so Jeff can hold some bottle rockets. What does he have? 
We're gonna use the healing items with Paula quite shortly. Sl oh, I forgot I had the slime generator. That's not too bad. Um... Hang on. Insecticide spray is for killing bug enemies. I feel like the bug enemies are so weak, I don't really need it. What does this do again? Pains the enemy... I should be using this in the damn fights. I'm just having Jeff shoot. Okay. Um, let me think here, let me think. Can only he use this? Oh, going after one use? Okay, then I can give this to Paula. Just to make some room. His name's Jeff. Okay, let's take out a little bit more money. Ness has one of Jeff's items, too. Yeah, I know. I was doing that for space. Man managing inventory and money in this game is something that's real annoying, ain't it? Oh, wait. What am I doing? I only took up enough money for the zip gun. I just said I was going to buy bottle rockets, too. Hey, kids, you want to buy some bottle rockets? Yeah, don't worry. Do play with these explosives. No, pr no problem. I actually don't know. Are bottle rocket rockets that bad? They very much were a 90s thing, but I don't know how dangerous they really were. There we go. I didn't play with stuff like that when I was a kid, I can tell you that much. Oh, hold up. We gotta take out this mole. He's trying to get in on the hustle. One fifty-two. Shh, don't talk too loud. Yeah, zip gun. Who's gonna lug this around? Give it to Jeff? Yeah. Or offense, whatever. Uh, he's not gonna- he's not gonna buy the old one? Damn. That's annoying. I guess I'm gonna have to go back in there. And sell the old gun. Cause he's not gonna buy it. What was it? The, um... The Magnum Air Gun, yeah. Alright, let's go back in. Holy crap, they're making me manage the hell out of this inventory right away, aren't they? We cannot buy that. Oh, they can't buy it. Oh, if he repairs an item, it can't be sold. All right then. Whatever. Let's let's finally just move on. I've been in and out of that place too damn much. I beat the third sanctuary and now I'm at the desert. Let's do it. Don't worry, kids wander in the deserts. Is that the monkey? Cool, cool, cool. Welcome, Kiki. -ki -ki. Our paradise exists beneath that hole. Talarama is great and kind, and he knows everything. Talarama does. He made us the underground rooms. All right, then. Let's see what this is. Time for some monkey madness. And mushrooms, apparently. Talarama is now fasting and practicing silent meditation. He is also abstaining from anything that would make him sick or smelly, too. Please don't bother him. What if I spray him with slime? Ah, darn it. Get rid of this. 98. Well, I guess I need to bring something to this. And these things spawned in. I could just throw away the Magnum Air Gun. Okay, good. Hold up. You shouldn't throw it away. Well, it says I can't. <laughs> May as well get the free XP here. Nice. Modest little level up there. Chat seems surprised I can't throw the gun away. That scorpion? Oh boy, we're about to get freaking killed. 
The, uh, the Skelpian? Oh god, look at the look on its face. Kill it. Stung with its poison. Jeff got poisoned. Okay. Guess I'll have to call the D S Cargo Express and store it. Oops, hang on. At least there's a butterfly right next to it. Hell yes! Well, we're walking in the desert. I may as well hug the wall and see what I find. A double burger? Bro, it's gotta have- it's gotta be covered in sand. You know how crunchy that would be? Lots of butterflies. No problem here. Why would you feel like talking to a tiny black sesame like me? I can actually check this, huh? I want to apologize to the white sesame that I hurt before. If I could just see her. What? A tiny black dot could be spoken to, and apparently there's a tiny white dot somewhere. I'm a photographic genius. I'm gonna get a drink while he tells me to fuzzy that pickle. Really shocked I could check that. Life noodles. Wait, what? Wait, what? Huh? Oh no, do I have sunstroke? Hang on. Me. Okay, healing alpha cures that. Good. Fantastic. Let me see. Let's have a look around here. Hey, what's this? Spotted something shiny. It was a set of contact lenses. Oh. All I got contact lenses. Okay. Let me have a look here. It must belong to someone. Well, I guess we'll hang on to those, then. Double burger? But he's got too much stuff? Damn it. Hang on. Let's have a cup of coffee. HP is macked out. Take that burger. Let's keep looking around. I'm sure we'll be fine. Wait a second. Oh, there's buffalo there. I didn't actually sleep at the the inn there. That means I won't teleport to that location if I die, right? Maybe I should use it soon. PSI caramel? Okay. First, let's fight this buffalo. Bad buffalo? Oh, God. I don't want to fight him if he's bad. Smash him. Let's freeze him. Spy on it, I guess? It's vulnerable to fire and paralysis. Okay. It's able to move. It's based on, like, your gut stat. How, how often you get sunstroke? Okay. Hit it with fire. Okay, how much does this thing give? Ah, huh. a lot for one enemy. Hmm. Fence spray, contact lenses, life noodles. Hang on. Where is... We don't need this, really. Oh. Ness got this, so let's heal it. Just keep walking along the sides, and we're finding more stuff I can't carry. Sudden Guts pill, I don't really need that. Butterfly's going too far away. That one, not so much.
Okay, it looks like we've looped around. East to four side. There's probably some more stuff I could do in the desert. What, what if I go this way? But I think I need to go forward and sort my inventory. Oh, what, what do we have here? I'm a slot machine. Can you talk to me from the front side? I'm a broken slot machine, but the Sanchez brothers and their friend are a very cheerful trio. We'll make you happy. Would you like to insert a buck? Door? I'm pretty sure this is rigged. I'm big brother Poncho. I'm uh, kid brother Pincho. I'm Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> okay. This thing can give you PSI caramels. Okay. I think I should head to Foreside. I'll come back and check out more of the desert soon. I'm gonna need to because of the monkey anyway, so... To the end. Hugging the wall in the desert sure sped that up. I don't know what other obstacles were really there. Here we go. Pretty much done with the desert for now, anyway. Welcome to Foreside, everybody. Just walking on the road. No worries. Still got more to go. I hope that traffic jam is done. So I can bust back. Yeah. Danger. Do not stand in the street. Read schedule. Okay. Let me take a look here. Oh, yeah. The funky perspective. Department store is over there. Hospital's up there. I'd say we definitely want to stop at the hospital and upgrade our kit again. The city of Foresight has developed quite a bit since Mr. Uh, Geldegard Monatoli hit the big time. It's become good for the city. Ness, sir, are you staying here tonight? Thanks for being so generous with your tips. You never gave me a tip? Never mind. <laughs> okay. Welcome to the Monatoli Grand Hotel. One night will cost you that much. <laughs> Only $15 more than that trash little shack in the in the desert. Yeah, sure. The color is drained from this room. Good morning. This is a unique service exclusive to our hotel only. I'm here to read you today's headline. On the front page of the Foreside Post, over 70% of Foreside citizens support Monotoli. Hey, you. You meet a beautiful, seductive woman who's looking for me. Tell her hi. Anyway, I don't think a woman like that would be looking for me. Okay, my dude. Maybe keep that to yourself. <laughs> Excuse me, kids. You see any beautiful, seductive woman? <laughs> what a thing. Uh-oh. This guy wants to fight. Annoying re uh, reveler? What is he reveling? Doesn't matter. He's annoying. That means we get to beat him with a baseball bat. And psychic powers. My public duty. Okay. Hey, hey. <clears throat> Pardon me, jeez. <clears throat> kind of choked on my own, uh, my own spit there just trying to talk. Their perspective feels weird, but looks cool. I don't get it. I heard a guy who looks like Monotoli has been hanging out at Jackie's Cafe. You know, the totally unpopular place? I heard he quietly goes in and out. Okay, department store is that way. Mm -hmm. You boys are sneaking around looking for Mr. Monotoli, aren't you? 
I catch you boys doing anything, I'll arrest you. No questions asked. Be prepared. Got it, Ness? Ha 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 ha. I've already checked out your name. Okay. Bro, I'm just walking down the street and you're hassling me. I wonder why the department store is closed. Oh no. When Monotoli became the owner, the department store began having strange happenings. Temporarily closed. Warg. Warg? Well, no new equipment there. Hmm. No problem. In the old days, Mr. Monotoli was just a regular, unattractive real estate agent. Now he has the power to control the police force. I don't think the city of Foresight is better than before. What happened to the guys digging for the buried gold? If they found the gold, it would be worth a huge amount of money. They'd be able to pay off the million dollar debt very easily. If I were them, I'd go to Japan and live it up. Speaking of, uh, Topala Theater, there's a new singer called Venus. She's better than the Runaway Five. I'm totally bonkers about her. Dinosaur Museum sounds pretty cool. I want to see dinosaurs. Who cares about, like, uh... Hey, wait, what? Oh, good. I thought I couldn't go in. I don't care what's going on in this town. I want to see dinos. Dinosaur Museum doesn't have any real dinosaurs. They're all replicas. Oh my god, another lie. Why don't dinosaur museums have anything real, chat? When will they start, like, telling the truth? I'm sure everyone knows that. If you still want to go see dinosaurs, pay $5 a piece. Hey, take your money, you freaking liar. That's the difference between the zoo and the dinosaur museum. The zoo keeps their, their displays alive, so they're clearly more competent at their job. I wonder how many animals go extinct before human beings discover them. I want to see a live dinosaur. Hey, there's a couple of movies about why that's a bad idea. I think maybe we should not try and bring dinosaurs back to life, in all honesty. Huge! Not you. I'm talking about the dinosaur bones. This museum should sell dinosaur t-shirts. I'm so happy there are visitors today. These days, few people come here. I'm Mr. Spoon, the ac academic researcher. I wonder if there's any famous stars here today. Dinosaurs. Huge, aren't they? Well, that's all I've gotten out of my research. <laughs> okay, then. You want to hear more? Tell you the truth, I heard that dinosaurs were found near the lower side of uh, Scaraba, and there were lots of them. There are unconfirmed reports that dinosaurs ate some of the natives there. If you go, please try to find the dinosaurs and bring back photographs. Please come again, because I don't like being alone. Okay. Well, dinosaurs are real. I shouldn't be surprised, because psychic powers and aliens are, too. Gosh darn it. Why don't we just bring back the small ones? I don't know. Wait, what? A butterfly spawned immediately as I walked out of the door. What, what are the odds of that? Is that normal for this? Now, chat, do you think there's a real reason that we as a species need to bring T-Rexes back to life? I don't think we need to do that. You know, I, I, I prefer we figure out, like, how to solve cancer and stuff before we screw around with stuff like that. That's just me, though. I've heard some bad rumors about Mr. Monotoli. I heard he made a deal with pure evil in, in exchange for power. You know, stuff like that. Ugh, who hasn't in this town? Suck. We're trying to bring the mammoth back? What's the mammoth gonna do? Unless the mammoth, mammoth has a cure for uh, a few different things? <laughs> I'm not sure I want to spend my money on that. Runaway 5 from Tucson seemed very popular. Heard that Topala Theater's always full. Now I sound like an old man. There's people in the park. Wait, isn't this normal for, uh, normal for the park in New York? People just attacking you randomly? No dinosaurs, though. Go. No, he's coming. Let's do it. Annoying reveler.
114. He's back to normal. 791. Protein drink, but we can't carry stuff. Oh, throw it away. Yes, leave it behind. Well, now she's gonna come over here. What's she called? Extra cranky lady? That face look cranky? She's about to be cranky. Continuous attack. Let's give, uh, let's give Paula one of the burgers or something. We can make some space. Oh, nice. Ness leveled up. Okay, Ness gets good HP gains yet again. What else is new? Paula, would you like the sand burger? Oh, yeah, that's delicious. Hold up. Currently just kind of checking all NPCs in town to figure out what's going on. Hello, sir. Protect Mr. Monotoli first. The safety of the citizens comes second. <laughs> That's our job, you know? <laughs> I like when the officers laugh maniacally like that. I can definitely trust them. Okay, we're back here. Did I check the northernmost part of town? Oh, Monotoli building. I haven't been in here. This is probably what I need to do. I didn't notice a door on this before. Oh, good. It's dark, it's ominous. Let me save here. I feel like Dad's got more money than Monotoli. A lot more. No, Dad, I need, to, I need to overthrow some corruption in New York City. I can't go to bed yet. I'm the elite businessman who works in Mr. Monotoli's office. Last night, there was a solitaire tournament. I lost my shirt. I'll invite you next time. Hey, wait, do you even know what solitaire is? Hello, babyface. What brings you to the Monotoli building? I'm gonna waltz right in. This elevator's only for Master Pokey's use. Hey, Master who? Goes directly to the 47th floor. Quit staring at my hips. Why don't you stand somewhere else instead of behind me? Okay, we're gonna use it anyway. Okay. Are you a friend of Master Pokey? It's okay to visit him here, but don't wander around the building. Someone might be suspicious of you and take a pot shot at you with a machine gun. Oh, fantastic. Another thing to worry about. Whoops! It's almost gonna beat you up! Oh, <laughs> don't you hate when you do that by accident? Also, chat, I was not staring at her. Oh, fantastic. I can't wait to find out why this is happening. You won't get away from me, kid. Get away from me, kid. <laughs> Ooh la la. Oh, this, this is my poor old friend. Oh, what's your name? Oh, pig's butt? Oh, no, no. Ness. Did you come here to beg me for some money? Ooh la la. Don't you recognize me? I'm Master Pokey. Pokey. Get it? I'm now Gildegard Monotoli's partner. And I give him political and economic advice. I have never read anything more terrifying in a video game. Oh, no. The last thing I want to hear is, is how PG Eric Cartman gives advice on how to run a city. Or there were some ratty-looking kids asking for Mr. Monotoli. Now you, Ness? <laughs> this isn't a place for the likes of you. Get out of here. Now, loser. He's gonna have me beaten up. Oh, we're not gonna fight? I could take him. I got a baseball bat. Oh, we're going to the back room, huh? You must never show your face around Master Pokey. You got that? Ooh la la, this is my poor old friend. Oh, it's the same thing, really? I wanted to go back in because I thought something funny would happen. Now we gotta get escorted out again. What is with him? Why does he just keep show- he just keeps showing up. 
being a dork. Doing stuff. But I know what's in here. Oh, hey. It's Pokey's dad. You haven't changed much, muchness. Um, Al... Aloysius Minch? Aloysius Minch? That's a name. Am I saying it right? Pokey's dad. Due to my son's success, I now live the life of a rich man. Every dog has its day. That's the perfect proverb to describe me. Ha! Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Ho 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 ho! Ha ha! Gwa ha ha ha! Hee hee Ha ha ha! Oh, my jaw is tired. Okay. My throat is tired after that. I guess we'll check out over here now. Oh, I thought that was a cutscene. Did you bump into me accidentally or what? Whoops, I was almost gonna beat you up. Private elevator, not for operation by the general public. All right then, let's use this. Abby, hold up, let the elevator start. This elevator's going down. Looks, don't stand behind me and stare at my hips. I was not! Chat, I wasn't! <laughs> I wasn't, I swear! Oh. Pokey is like Cartman, but if he add the actual power to do things. <laughs> yes, I was, don't. No, I was not! I'm a good teddy! I'm a good little bear. I'd never do such things. No problem here. The boy stuck to the wall may be a peeping Tom. Well, he sounds like somebody that would be staring. What the hell you doing, boy? Behind this wall, things seem very strange. I feel like this isn't my place. Maybe it's your place. Looks like I can get in via the sewer. Come on in. We got the goods, G. What are you looking for? Ooh. Broken gadget, broken iron. Bro, you got the goods. Alright. More like the bads. Mod boy jerk, you can't do me like that. <laughs> he called me a mod boy? <laughs> Call me a mod boy. I bet you mod on Reddit. No problem here. I'm very punctual about time and careful with money. Don't look like it, though. What does that even mean, mod boy? Can I go in here? Doesn't look like it. There's the hospital. There's never really anyone inside the hospital to talk to. And no one know anything, grr. Monotoli's toadies stole everything from me, including my house and land. Weep, weep. They are evil incarnate. Lawyers, policemen, everyone that follows Monotoli. They're all his toadies. No matter how you fight them, you can't win. Yeah, I'm okay. Just leave me here to cry into my cappuccino. Yes, chat. Cappuccino. That's that's what he's drinking. I'm sh I'm so sure. Nosy. <laughs> I de he's definitely drinking uh definitely drinking that in the Japanese version as well. It's just coffee, everybody. Excellent. Let me see. Oh boy. Clear my throat. Extra cranky lady. I'll show you extra cranky. Excellent. The streets aren't safe. Monotoli controls the police. And Ness goes around breaking the legs of ladies walking around. In my defense, they were very cranky. There's another one. Um, have I checked this building? There was something about a cafe, right? Is this it? Planning meeting for Earthbound 2. Only those who are related to this project are allowed to enter. Ape Software Development Team. Oh. Sorry, you can only speak Japanese to get in. No problem here. So let me guess, you can you actually can't go in this building, right? It's just there to screw with people. <laughs> Alright. 
All right then. Funny. Oh, the hint guy's here. Hang on, before... He's not marked on the map. Um, before I resort to him, I think there's either a cafe I can find or a way to get into, um... That, like, glowing stone in, in the backyard. Where's he at? Up over there. But let me keep looking. They took the hitman's house. Good lord. The other big buildings, I went in the Dinosaur Museum. Can't go in the department store. Okay, you see the, the valley, no, the backyard there. Okay, it looks like I have to find a way underground from somewhere to reach that. There's a bakery. Someone jazzing it up. Try that. We could try this place out now. Let's go in. Do you want to buy a ticket? Sure. Thirty bucks. Fine. Please have your tickets ready. I should use this up. Make space. Wait, what? Oh, that doesn't heal. Well, I need to make space anyway. I don't really care too much. Thanks a lot. Please hurry. The show will be starting any moment. Okay, then. Life noodles are a revive? Oh, okay. Oh, well. Uh, can I talk to y'all? No. Nope problem here. Quiet! No problem here. When Ness arrives, the Runaway 5 told me to let him in. Oh, please come in? Nice! We owe you guys so much. Sorry. Again, we've been cheated by the theater owner. We're stuck here with a phony contract. Oh, yeah. Hang on. Get out of the way. I want to talk to Luigi. We're helpless. Really helpless and hopeless. <laughs> okay. To meet Geldegard Mont Montatoli, you'll need our help. I don't exactly know why. It's just a hunch. We know how to sing, but we don't know how to handle money or women. Doo wop, doo doo wop. Sad trombone. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to talk to the owner. Oh? Okay. Have I got a bombshell for you tonight, kids? Ah! Kaboom! The Runaway Five. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Mm-hmm. The Runaway Six are back, everybody. They're here to get funky for a little bit. I like how that guy's earrings look like the, uh, the, the Super Famicom button layout. Yeah! They're getting funky as well. They can't stay in the spotlights. We're getting that sick Teddy lore by watching this. Have I shown off Teddy lore enough? No. Look at it. Cherish the lore bear. Look how excited he is to read about what's happening. He's excited to check it. Stretch? I should do that. Yeah. Be as curious as a teddy and make sure you read the lore. They're still dancing. Look at him go. Getting extra funky. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. Whoa. Alright, Lord Bear is gone for now. If Ness arrives, Runaway 5 told me to let him in. Okay, we did that. Um... Hang on. 
Maybe I need to talk to the manager of the theater and find out what I gotta do, find another wad of cash to help him. So you're the Runaway Five fan, huh? What? Excuse me? No, no, no! This band owes me a million bucks. If they break their contract, they'll be in deep doo-doo with the police. The police would probably say, hey, you guys, or something like that, unless you're able to pay a million dollars on their behalf. You'd have to find buried gold. Or you would, would never pay such a huge sum of money. Ho 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 ho. Ho 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 Okay. Well, I have to go... I have to go digging for gold in the desert, don't I? Damn it. Seems like that's what I need to do. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, Ness. Okay. Now, I'm, I'm taking a guess right here. Is the monkey inside the uh, that cave in the desert? Did it move? I want to assume it may have. I'm not reading the street. Seems like I'm gonna have to get in here. Bus goes to Tucson via three. It's gonna cost six dollars. Do you want to go? How do I stop the bus? Because I saw there was a stop in the desert. Do, 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 do. It makes a stop at each each one. Okay. Yeah, let's go for a ride, kids. Across the good old U.S. of A. Bo, 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 bo. There you go, searching for gold, chat. There be gold in them there deserts. Gold! There's the Sanchez brothers. The traffic jam is gone, I assume. Bo, 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 bo. Do, 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 do. Yeah, let's get off. All right, let's go have a look. Now, I found contact lenses. I'm not sure. I don't know if I remember anybody that needed them. Oops, sorry, everyone. I kicked a mole out of the way. Darn shame. Welcome. Our paradise exists beneath the hole. Let's go. I see sprouts. Why are you running? Oh, they want to fight, huh? Surprise attack? I'll give you a surprise attack. Surprise bear attack. Yeah, uh, I need to stop the corrupt guy in Foreside, but to do that, I need to help the jazz band, or the blues band. And to do that, I need to go to the desert to find talk to some talking monkeys to help me find gold for a million dollars. Oh yeah, it's earthbound, baby. Still in the way? Damn it. Now fasting, practicing silent. He's also abstaining from anything to make her sick or smelly. Damn it, he's in the way. I don't suppose you want the contact, le contact lenses. Hmm. Must belong to someone. Okay. It would take too long to go back to the hint guy, so you know what? Hang on. Let me see. Oh, hey, UFO. That's cool. Chat, I have summoned the helper bear. The help teddy has been summoned, so I will take a hint. It, am I supposed to be in the desert right now? What is that? The cute little UFO. Oh, good for her. Now let's kill her. Blast with the teddy blast. Uh, Spash. Right of the desert, slightly northwest of the tunnel. Okay, I'll go there next. East in the desert, so the place that I already was, right? Oh, nice. Cute little UFO. There we go. The enemy left a present. Picnic lunch. 
All right, let's go back. And let's cure my Sunstroke here. PSI. No, no, no. Don't do that. Get healed. Hold up. We're safe on the road, so we'll walk on this. Let's keep going. Let me get a drink while we walk through the desert here. Don't have enough room to play with you guys. Is the music resetting now? East to four side. No homesickness today yet. Nope. See buffaloes. Oh, okay. Damn, I just missed this guy when I was going in the first time. Damn it, sunstroke. You cannot redeem to make me homesick. That won't work. You cannot redeem to make me call my mom midstream. Hole's great. Good hole, good hole. First, someone asked me to dig for buried gold. I began to feel like I was obligated to find it. Man, I'm starving. Do you got any food? Oh, is that why I find a bunch of burgers? What are you gonna give me? Okay. Here, have this burger. Thank you. If I find gold, I'll give it to you. Still hard at work. Hey, wait a second. What's this? Dusty Dunes headquarters. Okay. Can you give him the fly, honey? Really? Does that, like, do anything special? It's too late now, but... Small house, but please stay the night. Oh, nice, free. No, lol, you can't. Okay. Alright. Let's make a save. Hello, Dad, I'm gonna need not more, a lot more money for this next one. Oh. Click, beep, beep, boop. I haven't stored the fly honey yet. Oh, hey. I've been watching them dig for a while. I wonder what they'll find. If they have a live broadcast from the dig, I can check out the dig while relaxing on the floor. I think you should dig somewhere else. I have lots of work to do, but I can't seem to move. I'm curious about the dig. No problem. Out oh, walking the desert must make you very hungry and thirsty. What do you want? Nah. You don't want to buy anything? Oh, you may not believe it. Okay, he's healer. Alright then, let's check out the tunnel. Oh wait, I can't? Hang on. Oh, I can get in. Good. I didn't have a problem digging until this. I found a maze. Lots of monsters appeared, so I couldn't proceed. There's five big moles. If I beat the monsters, I can continue on. I think I have a bleeding ulcer from worrying too much. I'm helpless to really do anything. Well then. Let's do it. Oh. Dude. What? Huh? Is that a noose? Bro, wasn't that also in Mother 1, now that I think about it? Okay. Well then. Noose man! Oh god. Mad duck. Let's put this... Noose man on ice. A noose and goose are on the loose! Let's take him out. was in Mother 1. That's right. He wants to give me a hug. I want his hugs. Dude, I'm surprised they got away with that back in the day. Now let's go this way then, I guess. Snakes? Thirsty coil snake. Oh, well, I don't have a joke to make over that. a reptile, so free should work well on it. That seems to usually be the case. 
Plants are weak to fire and reptiles are weak to cold. Well then, how long have I been going by the way? An hour and a half, damn. Time really flies when I'm playing this. Oh, no, there we go, let's get him. Let's get him. Let's hit him with the Teddy Bay Blast. Hmm. Let's cook some ducks. Jeff, shoot at that. Duck, duck, noose. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it is, in fact, that. Alrighty. You won. Paul is not allowed to use PP, which is bad. Oh, that's a big mole. I'm one of the masters of this hole. There are five masters in all. We are all moles, of course. I believe I'm the third strongest amongst us. Take your best shot. There's a skeleton there. This mole has killed people. Wait, I fought one of these. It was like the first boss, wasn't it? Also, he has a number three background. Dude. All right, then. Let's get him. I'm gonna try freeze beta because that's usually my best damage output, but let's go ahead and do this. Maybe I should use a bottle rocket on him. Solidified. 59, 129. Vulnerable to flash. Okay. Doesn't look like Ness is doing. Oh, jeez. He has a shield. Okay. Try flash. Try this. Um, you know, let's do a slime to him first. Oh, never mind. He's dead already. <laughs> okay, then. Third strongest. Okay. Everything went up by one and six HP. Ooh. Is that Omega? Oh, or is that a different symbol? Sorry, I'm not good on my symbols, chat. Gamma. I thought Gamma looked more like a lowercase r. That one looked like it had like a bit of a loop down there. IQ capsule inside. There's upper and lowercase Gamma. Oh, really? Or are you just like screwing with me? Thank you for the reset there, Floof Magic. IQ capsule. Um... Just use that up. I'll give it to Jeff. Jeff hasn't fixed anything in the last few times I'm sleeping. I guess I gotta find and defeat five moles. Get him. Okay, we're looking pretty good here. Um, we should be fine to just bash these guys. 37 damage to Paula. Darn. You win. We did it. Up or down. I'm gonna get lost in here, I have a feeling. Hang on, is this back to start? I think it is. Yeah, it is. Hang on, let me just make sure. Yep, okay. Which means I looped around by going north, so I'll go down this time over here. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay. Thirsty coil snake. No spoilers, chat. Remember, be good, Teddy. Let the Teddy read the book by himself. Rocks on the ground. There's a big bottle rocket. Okay, I should give that to Jeff soon. If he he doesn't have space right now, right? Yeah. Ugh, I was too lazy to use the S Cargo Express. Whatever. Maybe use up the regular bottle rockets next boss fight.
No, don't bite me. No. Nine two nine. Should check my status here. Four thousand eleven K twelve K K Level up's gonna take a bit now. Oh? Exit mouse? Please take my son along. Can you leave my son with someone? There's a croissant! I may as well just eat that right now, to be honest. We need space. Excellent. Picnic lunch. I ain't need no stinking exit mouse. Secret herb inside. Well, damn. Guess I can't get- Ah! Snuck up on me, did ya? Fine, then. Okay, then. In with the PSI Teddy. And Paula can do the PSI fire to the back row. And Jeff can just shoot the duck. Jeff was unable to concentrate because the duck- Oh, God. Paula's getting smacked. Everyone's getting cooked now. You won! 2004. Oh, there's one. I'm really the third strongest master. I'll destroy you now. Wait a second. Wait just a darn minute. Somebody here is fibbing. Okay, let's go ahead and use PSI Freeze Gamma. You know what, Jeff? I want to use a bottle rocket because I want space. Let's do it. 411. Wow! That's busted! 36. Oh, baby, offense went up by 8. Maximum HP went on. Nice. There's a Guts capsule inside. Uh, I need to take that, yes. Um... You know what? Just eat one of the picnic lunches. I don't really care. Okay, um... Let's give it to Ness. Better than nothing. Oh, they're back, huh? Fine, let's do it. Okay. And with that, Paula can go ahead and PSI fire the back row, which should be enough to use Alpha, and shoot the duck. Ness about to swing real hard with that bat. Never seen anyone get more than six in a level up stat before. Damn, eight's that good? Well, HP is different, but I know what you mean. Two thousand four. Okay, we haven't been over this way now. Spiders and nooses. Oh, that was also a boss before. Okay. Hmm. I'll bash you, and... Actually, you know what? Hang on. Ness can bash the noose man, and Paula can just use this thing to delete the ant, probably. Find out. Holy moly, that is so ridiculously powerful. That's busted. Get beamed. Okay, five extra PP for her. Uh, let's go this way first. Too many items, man. A teddy bear! Hell yeah! Bear has been acquired. Today is a good day. 
Imagine opening up a present and a teddy ursa pops out. Hell yes. Okay, I don't think the ant is that strong. It requires a gamma, really. So let me just use PSI fire. Try this. 84 to the noose, 85 the ants. Missed him, damn. Flashed a menacing smile. Now that we have the teddy, we are absolutely ready. The bear has gotten hit, though. Got paralyzing. Did not work on teddy bear. What? No! You killed it already! Stop missing! Oh, fantastic, Jeff. Fantastic. Would it have killed you, Paula, to just hit them? Oh, yeah, now you decide to hit. That bear lasted one damn battle. Its HP is too damn low for this point in the game. Damn it. I... Damn it. I need a way to cure Jeff. I don't have anything for that, do I? Damn it. Thank you, friend, for the sub there. Ugh, teddy bears only have 100 HP. Yeah, they're pretty useless now. Healing beta shouldn't work for it, I'm pretty sure. We checked earlier, didn't we? Let me double check again. To cure it. Poisoning, feeling strange. Yeah, it doesn't cure paralysis. Oh, I got homesick? Did I? Oh, I am homesick, damn it. Well, this is great. I think I, I, think I should just leave and heal. It probably would be best if I do that. Hang on. From the exit mouse hub there. Oh, great. The giant ant's back. How about we just get rid of you then, you'll jerk. Paula's just, like, done with this stuff. She waves her hand, and then you just explode into ice, like the PK Freeze in, uh, Smash Brothers. I think it's over here. Kill, kill, kill. When she does PK Freeze, uh, Gamma, it's basically just like the, uh, the Sub-Zero Fatality in Mortal Kombat, where he just freezes you and then he punches you and you explode into body parts. Wait, wrong way. I think I can go down from here to reach it? Uh-oh. I'm a little lost. No, I'm not using the exit mouse. I know where it is. I know where it is! Plus, I barely have space for stuff anyway. Oh, I'm out of PP, huh? No, oh, attack. Attack, you ju you dumb jerk. Fighting attack. Punch. Nine twenty nine. I think this is the way. Uh oh. I know where I'm going. Don't worry. I know where I'm going. I see I see him down there. See, we're almost out. Easy. Wait, I got one of the rare item drops, did I? What was that? The mouse uh, mouse respawns after you use it too. Okay, well I don't care. I'm using it. I'm, not, I'm sorry, I'm not using it. Let's kill this. I know the way back. Don't need it. I don't have any PP left, so I need to go back and heal for sure. Ow. Okay, Paula's poisoned. That's a bit of a problem. Ness is homesick, and he's not attacking. Come on. Oh, fantastic. Okay, we're good. I got a PSI caramel from the Happy Happy Cultist. Wait, what? 
Yes, game, I know. Hang on. So, when you beat a cultist, there's a uh, 1 in 200... Sorry. 1 in uh, 128 chance of getting a PSI caramel from a, a cultist. Oh, did I? She will collapse if her condition isn't treated. Be careful. Okay. Okay. I'll deal with it. Oh, right. I need to use beta for that one. Oops. Okay, the exit's over here. We're gonna go heal, and then we're gonna go... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, fine, then. We're gonna have to, like... We're gonna have to get through these guys. Let's do it. Stretch? Don't worry, I can stretch. Speed it up with this, and Paula can just bash me. That's all she can do. Paralysis is really lame, man. <sighs> I should have had an extra travel charm for this, for sure. I didn't think it would become such an issue later. Thank you for gifting a bunch of subs there, Clute. I appreciate that. I did, I did use the heal items, but we don't really need to right now. It's fine. Healing items aren't what's clogging me me inventory now. Go. At least there's a a super healer over there too. That's right, we'd be getting gifts. Small house, but please stay the night. Jeff, do you want to fix something? Fix the broken pipe. The broken pipe became shield killer. Oh, okay. You know, I could just keep sleeping here to re repair other stuff, couldn't I? Let me see. Items for Jeff. Breakthroughs an enemy shield during battle can be used many times. Okay. Working through the night while paralyzed. Oh, wait, the healer can fix that. Let me do that. I don't have to pay to spend the night here, so Jeff can get things done, I hope. Apparently, this one can't be treated at a hospital. Uh, restore feeling? Um... Quick question, which one do I need to do? Oh, what do you want? Which one do I need to do to cure paralysis? Oh, the buffalo's joining in. Desert wolf. Oh. Okay. It's restore feeling? Okay, just wanted to make sure I don't waste money. Kill. Desert wolf, so a coyote. <laughs> yeah. That buffalo is getting close. Let's just take him out before he kills everybody. What? What, what is that thing? And why is it joining? <laughs> okay. What was that wacky dinosaur? I'm gonna have to fight that next, apparently. Whatever, nothing a little PK freeze can't destroy. At least Jeff is still getting XP during all this. Let's fight the dinosaur. Oh my... Can everybody stop trying to join? Crested Buka. Okay. We can immediately heal after this, so we're doing good. This is... This seems like a good place to be able to grind, by the way. Thousand and four. I'm attracting a whole crowd every time I do anything. Restore feeling. Yes. I can't withdraw money here, so that's the downside of this being a grind spot. This is one of the best grind spots in the game. Yeah, it definitely seems like it. Hang on, let me take out that buffalo for the extra XP then. Buffalo. I know why this buffalo is so bad. You win. Check the status here. 800. 4,000. 8,000. Hang on, what level is Ness? 36? They're like... Paula and Jeff are like five levels behind him now. That's pretty good. 
starting to even out. Can't go to the drugstore, yeah, it's a bit of a walk, but it's fine. Did I get homesick again? Are you serious? Oh, wait, no, no, I didn't cure it yet, because I didn't call mom yet. I totally forgot about that. What's wrong? You sound sad. You homesick? I totally forgot to do that. Ness got over being homesick. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and call these guys already. I need to get rid of some stuff. Yeah, let's do that. Apparently, I have the world record for getting homesick in my first playthrough. Let's stand and wait for a second out in the sun. So just to be clear, I don't need the jar of fly honey anymore, right? No. Okay, I'll store that. Uh, Jeff can store the Magnum air gun. Let me see, what else can we go? I don't really need the, uh, HP sucker, so I'll just dish that for now. Make some space. Okay, now that we've done that, I'd say we're good to head back inside here. Taken down two of the baby moles. Now, hopefully, we don't have any more ducks and nooses trying to get us. Thirsty coil snake. A freeze alpha be enough to finish it off? Let's find out. Okay, I slow it down for a second at least. Nice. Nash should get a level up any moment. Yep. Okay, small increase to su stuff, that's fine. Oh, I didn't keep sleeping to restore, uh, repair stuff with Jeff. I should do that. I slept a couple times and I pretty much only, uh, fixed the shield thing. Yeah, we're going back the way we came here. Gigantic ant. I use a freeze beta. I feel like gamma is a little freaking overkill here. Oh, they waste a turn trying to drain Jeff. Oh, nice. There we go. Now, I can't walk around these fellas here. We're just gonna have to deal with them. Beta should kill. I have a caramel. Excellent. Level up should be around the corner for Paula. I hope she gets more PP. Now, we were going to the left of the exit, exit mouse. Go up here. It's only Noose Man, we should be able to just pop it. Ow. Smash Rope. That's something. 664. Check here. Almost 20k for a level, my boy. 456. 5,000-ish for you. Not bad. I went over here, that's an item, right? Yeah, it was. Now, up here is where I haven't been. We got four noose and a duck. Well then, I say we go for the big one. Hmm. Yeah, make sure they freaking die here. Let's do that. Jeff doesn't have any PP. Good. Okay, that one did a lot. Should just use fire alpha, but it's okay. This is gonna be a big gain right here. 3,331. Guts, HP. Ah, oh, that's a pretty small level. Oh well. Jeff is like one battle away from leveling as well. Here we go. 
Oh, thanks for gifting another five subs there, Goots. I appreciate that. Everybody's being a generous teddy bear today. That's great. Okay. Let's do this. One forty to the noose man. Thirty on Paula. I better use a heal after this battle on her. Okay. Oh baby, offense went up by three. Oh baby, guts went up by three. Oh baby, IQ went up by three. Sweet, maximum HP went up by twenty-two. Damn, this is a good level for Jeff. Look at that. Okay, what items do I have for food? Picnic lunch, use that on Paula. Make some space, because I'm carrying too much crap. I picked up too much in the desert. Oh, look, more stuff to pick up. Calorie stick, whatever. We need it when there's damage. Oh, there's one now. My strength falls between the second and fourth strongest masters. Do you want to test me? Damn it, he's also the third strongest. Pretty prestigious title here. Well, goodbye, boss. Hydrate and posture check. Yes, three. Ouch. Ooh, a lot right there. A coin of defense. Okay. Oh, this one gives plus ten. Okay. Um, it might be best to give that to Paula, because she's the one with the lowest amount of HP. So hang on. Let's go ahead and give that to her. Okay. Hang on. Silver bracelet, can that be... No, that was something different. Never mind. Okay, let's do that. Gotta remember to sell the extra coin to slumber later. Gigantic ant. I think I could just use an alpha for this one. Jeez. Is this just what Paula and Anna are known for? Freezing the hell out of every enemies until they cry and die? Certainly seems like it. Smash. Big money. I have defeated three moles so far. Okay, here we go. Took a bite. Ah, oh, come on, Jeff. I'm slaying these moles. That's right, I am. Um, hang on a second. Yeah. It'd be nice if a butterfly could spawn in around here, too. Okay, that goes down. Oh, we're back here. Okay. If that's the case. This time I'll go this way. Yeah, we haven't been down here. This is another big money fight, though. Let's do this. Here's a chance for a surprise attack. Hell yeah. Any blast. Hang on. Alpha fire to that row. Shoot the duck. My stats have gone up quite significantly <clears throat> since I entered this place. Good level ups, and I also found some um, capsules. Oh, I missed one. Bash the rest of them. Ooh! Chat, if I was able to beat the third strongest mole, I think I can beat the third strongest mole ahead. Come on, I've prepared myself. More- oh, there's one, okay. I'm truly the third strongest mole- or master of this hole. I'll demonstrate the power of being third to you. Well, uh, I wonder what I should do. I 
I win. Third strongest mole has been defeated. This is 38. Okay, PSI flash beta. Paul is 34. Uh, only one HP. I'll take the five PP though, that's all right. There's a PSI caramel inside, nice. Oh, come on, Dad. I am doing a stream. You do not tell me to stop playing Earthbound. Like right at the two hour mark too. Hello, it's your dad. You've been out there for a long time. Maybe none of your business. You think it's a good idea to take a break? No, I see. Well, it doesn't make me happy, but I understand your point. Come on. Oh, they're back. Well, I probably should go back and sleep to restore my PP at this point, since I know where to, how to get out from the exit in this room. Uh, I could also just keep going. But I am spending a ton of PP moving through this. Let's see here. Good plan, you don't want to be too weak when you run into the third strongest mole. Hey, don't spoil it! <laughs> Take him out! You win! That's right, mods, get them. They're, sp they're posting spoilers. Way to spoil the next mini-boss fight. That makes... Chat, every time you spoil something, you make a Teddy Ursa cry. A Teddy Ursa cries and it gets a tummy ache. Can you live with yourself knowing you've caused such disaster? I wouldn't be able to. That poor bear is sitting there crying with a tummy ache. How could you do that to him? How could you? Be able to move. Yes. This was the right way, wasn't it? Yeah, it is. Teddy Ursa's crying is a very unwholesome sight. Chat would never want to cause such a thing. If they're real fans... Go. You know, chat, I realize once I am finished with Mother 3, I will be able to play a lot of, like, more fan games and stuff, won't I? Never knew that. I did mention Toho Mother, that's one. But I'm sure there's more things I can find. It's dead. Excellent. I should probably check how many... need... 15k... Let's see here... The... 10k... Needs a bit to keep going. Am I homesick? Huh? Did I get that again? No way. Let me check that. Tell me I did not get homesick again. Let me check the status screen. Oh my god. How does this keep happening to me? It's less than 1% every battle. <laughs> okay then. Okay, then, hang on. Let's just do this since we're about to heal anyway. My luck is ridiculous. Your playthrough, you got homesick like three times total. Oh. Uh. This is like, what, the 8th or ninth, ninth time? I think it only happened once last stream, but the stream before that, it was like, freaking six times. <laughs> wow. Hang on, let's cure this right quick. It's like 0.75% chance-ish.
No quick level here, so we may as well just heal and press on in the cave immediately. Let's do it. Working through the night, Jeff fixed the broken spray can. Defend spray. Maybe I should try and sleep again, just see if he fixes anything else right quick. One more try. I don't know if I've met the threshold of IQ for everything. Okay, that might all be all he can do then. Sunstroke already. Does the sunstroke stay in here? Yes, it does. Okay. Whatever. Let us resume our little adventure in the wacky duck cave. Down and around this way to the exit mouse room. The mouse only leads you to the exit. It doesn't warp you to it, right? Yeah, I sure as hell should have been using it, but I'm getting extra EXP. Thanks for gifting this up there, friend. More teddy gifts today. A bear just went without a tummy ache today. Excellent. My luck has been abysmal this week. <laughs> like, man. Last Zelda rando I tried to do was also a disaster as well. Luck made it almost impossible to progress to that. In the coming week, I think next one I'm going to do, it'll be easier to get that one done and uploaded. It'll probably be another Castlevania. That could be nice. With that. Let's bash you, and we'll go ahead and hit you with this. Yeah, I almost feel tempted. I'm, I'm probably going to do another one sometime in a few weeks with the Hamtaro sprite again. Because I was just really unsatisfied with how that one was going. I just spent it the whole time, like, lost and confused. Consider that- I want to consider that one like a practice run. I quite literally had to check- do every item check in the game to find out where to go. That's how rough it was. All right, Jeff got poisoned. That's annoying. Let me see. I know it's kind of the point of a rando to get lost and confused, but that one was just, like, ridiculous. Let me see. I'd go in one dungeon, find a small key for another dungeon, and immediately leave. And that would repeat over and over and over. And it was just, like, it was annoying as hell. Okay, we go down here. Let me see going here. Wait, what? This is a dead end room? Either way, let's get what's in there. Okay, let's do this. Paula's gonna go ahead and use PSI fire on you and shoot the duck. The duck fell down? Oh, yeah. That's the thing. Because that, that run made me aware of where most of the item checks are, it'd be easier to jump in and do a much cleaner one. Excellent. Attacking, 25 to Jeff. Jeff needs a heal. Noose man's attacking, stop that! It's a lot though. Hang on, I should use a quick heal on Jeff. He took some damage lately. A super bomb. Paula takes it. Okay. Not even getting much opportunities to use the, um... To use stuff. Hang on, do this. Paula can go ahead and use freeze to instantly delete the ants. Do this. Excellent. You won! Paul is 35. Okay, she gets a little bit. Not great, but not it's better than nothing. Okay, so now that we've done that, 
I haven't gone south from the mouse mice yet. Yeah, there's a presence there. Okay, then. Do this. Paula can instantly get rid of one by doing that, so we'll do this. Hoping Ness gets a smash. Dodged, of course. It's dead. Check how close. Oh, that spider's not still still there. Of course he is. Two thousand for a level ish. Twenty k. Ten k. Not bad. Oh, now he decides he's coming at us. <sighs> okay. Jeff's supposed to use the items, but like he doesn't get a chance to do anything because Paula just deletes them with PK freeze. Jeff is only really good for using like extra damage and stuff on the uh, the boss fights. It feels a double burger, sick. Bomb inside. He's got too much stuff. Great. PSI caramel. I'll just do this. Only 17? Damn, I thought they'd do more. Even the mini bosses, I just hit them with one PK freeze and they're gone. The enemies are in the goddamn way here, aren't they? Okay, let's just do this. All I can just do that, I guess. Don't need to use anything there. Trying to disrupt my senses, huh? Ducks say quack. They've been hit. Ness is 39. Offense went up. Speed went up. Okay. We got the best life up, but I feel like the second one is still good. Okay. Jeff's good in the speed run for cramming bottle rockets in every boss. Thanks for gifting another sub there, Clute. Appreciate it. Um, are the bottle rockets really that good? I feel like in Mother 1, using them with Lloyd was kind of useless because they weren't worth the, the space to carry them around, it felt like. And they were also kind of inaccurate. You won. They're super powerful. Okay. Ha ha ha! You fought the strongest master of this hole, the second strongest master of this hole, the fourth strongest master of this hole, and the weakest master of this hole. I'm truly the third strongest master of this hole. Now you see the true advantage of being third. Okay. Well then, if he's the true one, bash it. This is probably going to kill him, so I don't need to do anything. Oh, didn't kill him one hit. Just missed. Okay. He's another one. He's actually stronger. And I'll try a bottle rocket on it then, I guess. Now he's dead. Ness got a lot. Okay, I killed them all, so I guess I report back to the guy at the beginning. There's a luck capsule inside. Alright, we gotta make some room. Hang on. Let me eat the calorie stick and do that. Thanks for gifting yet another sub there, friend. You don't need to give so many gifts, but I appreciate it. 56 HP. What does luck do again? I get it to Ness. Platinum Band. Ooh, hello, Platinum Band. That is a lot of defense. Um, do I want to give this to Anna? Luck is accuracy. Okay. 
Uh, I just gave her the upgraded coins. You know what? I'll just let Ness have this. Jeff doesn't deserve it. I'm more important. There we go. Let's go, 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 go. I hope the enemies have despawned. Th this place wasn't so bad. Feels like the item boxes and gifts were pretty much just like landmarks for you. Don't need that mouse, I know where I'm going. It does look like the enemies are gone. Guess we can get out now. I'm not homesick again, am I? Nope. 20k, 10k, Jeff's about to level. What was I doing again? Oh yeah, we were trying to stop corruption in Foresight, and then I wandered into whatever the hell this was. The mouse did warp you? God damn it, I thought people said it, it like, just walks back to, uh, makes a path back to the exit. Darn it. Oh well. Basically, escape rope. Okay. Take an instantaneously photographic genius. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. I'm already out now. It doesn't matter. Say fuzzy pixel. F fuzzy pickles. Blech. Fuzzy pixels is what the game looks like on the SNES filter. Boop, boop, boo. Jeff got sunstroke. Healing. You gotten rid of the monster? Good job. Okay, from here on, just let me dig. You'll see, I'll find the buried gold. Before I start digging, I'm gonna set a careful plan. Alright, let's go sleep then. I don't kill the ducks. They just become tame. But they shouldn't be quacking in caves like that. Asking for trouble. Jeff still does not want to repair anything else. Okay, where he at? He go back inside? Oh, crud. Um... Am I supposed to look for him in here? Or did he go somewhere else? Genuine question, because I don't want to waste my time going in here if it's, there's nothing else. He just calls you? Oh, okay. Why would I know that? Just go back to Foreside. Oh, so it's one of those things where you just have to wander until you find it. I hate that. Oh. Let's fight them. Okay, that wolf is hiding. Or, coyote's hiding. Do that. They did that with Apple Kid at the at the Tucson part. You just have to know where to to go somewhere, and he calls you to be like, "Hey, I solved the problem." I don't like when games do that. No, finish off. No, finish off. Oh, seriously, seriously, seriously. Let, sure, let's just miss all of our damn attacks, and Paul is dead. Oh, cool. Yeah, Jeff got to level up. <sighs> Get out of my damn way. Back we go. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's go. That buffalo just hit me. Now we gotta go to the hospital and... What's this? Oh, hey, what's up? Yes, greetings. I'm George Gerardo uh, Mon Montagu Montag. Gerardo is in his mind, but he hasn't found any buried treasure yet. We did, however, find a diamond instead. Gerardo told me to give it to the UNES. Here it is. Please take it. Hey, you got too many things with you. Well, I gotta go. I'm busy working another mine. I'll certainly hit. No, 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 no! C give me the damn. Mm. Okay. You know what? I don't even care. I don't even get- I don't even care. I'm gonna sell it. 
This game's inventory sucks. Uh, let's go get the damn diamond. That is truly obnoxious. Well. Let's go get it. Paula's gonna have to wait. If Paula didn't want to wait, then she should have just freaking not died. We could just find a diamond. Even a shame digger like me can't find it. I'll try harder. Found diamonds. Broken laser became laser gun. Oh, did he finally do that? Good. Here, I'll give you this now for sure. Good. All right. Can you equip that? It's not at... Wait, no, it is better. What am I saying? I'm looking at it wrong. All right, then. <clears throat> Pardon me. He gets a laser gun, and now he can do it. Now let's go ahead. And go to the hospital, finally. <laughs> oh, man. I hope Mother 3 has a better inventory system. <laughs> oh, man. I thought it was bad in Mother 1. Oh, boy. Gotta drop by the hospital, but it's at the edge of town. It does? Good. Good. It has a separate tab for key items. Okay, that's a start. She's here with us in spirit, but she's actually in a hospital bed right now. She got hit by a buffalo because Jeff and Ness had to miss two times in a row each. You can tell I'm a little bit salty about this excursion here, aren't I? All right, north part of town first. Hang on, I have the diamond, so I guess I give that to the, the theater owner. Big, beautiful, expensive-looking gem. Okay. Hell am I? Okay, I gotta go this way. Fuck. Hospital. <sighs> okay. No ATM in here, right? No ATM? Okay, then. Apartment store is closed. I guess I have to use it at the hotel. Let's just walk over there and get this over with. Get this over with. Man, the hospital system kind of sucks sometimes. I wish you could just, like, sleep anywhere and the party comes back to normal like a normal freaking game. Alright. Instead, I gotta go to the ATM to get enough money to get them out. I'm gonna just take 400 with me. That should be good enough. Hmm. Doing simple things in this game requires three or four steps. Sure does. Sure does. Come on. Can I have my party member back now, game? Come back anytime. Okay. Now let's go to the theater. was where <clears throat> pardon me geez that snuck up on me i think it was yeah it's next door to the dinosaur museum let's go everybody <clears throat> pardon me 
Please have your tickets ready. Don't worry, we got that, right? Uh, where is it? Oh, I have to buy another one, don't I? Thirty bucks, please. Thanks a lot. Let's give you the diamond and be on our way, finally. I hope. Wait, whoa, 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 what? I can't tell what, what it is from this distance. Bring it closer. Okay, then. Door. Hang on, can I, uh... I don't think I can. Oh, I can. Hang on. Hmm? Yay! That, that diamond. You're gonna pay with that diamond? Okay, that's fine. I'll rip up the contract. Rip. Don't tell anyone about the diamond. Now the Runaway Five are free. You should thank me. That diamond's worth maybe, maybe $50. So I gave you a bargain. Thump, 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 thump. I made lots of money. Stretch, no problem. Hey. Sorry about being such troublemakers. They're free. We won't be so gullible anymore. Well, our fans are waiting, baby. Let's just do this one last show and get out of here. All right, thanks again. Money, that's what I want. Money, that's what is hot. Money, that's what I want. Money, it's what we ain't got, except freedom. Freedom, freedom's what we really sought. Money, that's what I want, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get him out of here, get him out of here. Thump, thump, thump. I made so much money, I can hear my heartbeat. Okay, then. So, those guys are supposed to help me. Boys and girls, ladies and gents, this is a very special show. The final Runaway 5 show here at Topella. Please don't miss this once-in-a-lifetime chance. Okay, I have to watch the dance again. Welcome to the final Runaway 5 performance at the Topella Theater. Topola. Now they're the Runaway 6 again. It's gonna be a great show. We're so good to me it makes me think that those kids by the exit will wet their pants. Hey, those kids are hip, baby. All right. It's a special show. I know I need to help them for some reason to get at Monotoli. They said that they implied as much in the dressing room. He had a gut feeling. That's all I need to advance in the RPG. Here we go. They're dancing. They really like that one dancing scene. But what are they doing? What was that? They really like that one dancing scene in Mother One. Who is that? That's not the same sprite as the zombie lady. Have I seen that character? Huh? Oh, the bus is there. Why is it on stage? That's Venus? Oh, okay. New person, okay. Well then. What's going on here? Oh, I can't see the Runaway 5 here anymore? I should dump this sorry excuse of a man and become a Runaway 5 groupie. I heard Venus made an appearance at the Runaway 5 show. I missed her because I went to the bathroom. I'll hate bathrooms for the rest of my life. <laughs> okay. What a thing to say. Oh, hi. Um. I heard the department store finally reopened. Oh. That's good. I heard they couldn't find the buried gold. Those guys worked really hard, but all they got was a diamond. Okay, I guess we'll go to the department store now. Let's see what this gets us. Probably go through to reach the backyard. Would you like to buy tickets for the Topola Theater? No. You're not a customer. 
Would you like to return something? No. Actually, I would. Don't I have something to sell? Yeah, I have a super bomb. God, I have too much crap on me. The zip gun? Yes. Somehow I feel like the lights will get turned off in the department store. I guess it's just a mouse's sixth sense. Okay. I still have a spare coin to slumber, that's right. Thanks for getting another sub there, friends. I feel like I should grab a bunch because I'm going to need to buy new equipment. Okay, coin of slumber. Why, yes. There we go. Let's go up here. Everything's so expensive. Should I return to my hometown? Hello there. How would you like to buy some seasonings that go great on your food? They're not just your average seasonings. Uh, no. Not sure that's really all that necessary. Oopsie. Go up here. Mumble, mumble. Man, I'm so busy. Don't bother me, kid. Oh, okay. There's the back exit there, I guess. But let's see what I can buy. Hi, can I help you? What are you planning to buy? Deluxe frying pan, chef's frying pan. Hell yes. And gold bracelets. Oh, I'm going to need to take out more money. They're selling a protractor. Cool. Who's going to carry this? Paula, of course. Yes. Paula's offense went up by 10. Yes. You can buy one gold bracelet. You don't have enough money. Oh, never mind. I misread. Oops. What about this? What are you selling? Hey, they're not selling an upgrade for Ness. What's up here? Oh, the, another ATM. Nice. Uh, they sell bears here? I want to save up money to go to Summers or somewhere to relax. Boys, no problem here. Oh, you're skipping school too, right? Hello there, how may I help you? Trick yo-yo, coin of slumber, coin of defense. Okay. Defense ribbon, teddy bears. Coin of defense for these two lads would be good. I think it's time I take out a bunch of money and dump it into that. But what do you sell? Sports? Hey dudes, it's summer. The manly time of year. Time for sports, guys! What, you get, what can I do for you for? Sandlot bat. Okay, these are pretty crappy. Let's see. Hello, friend. Welcome to the stream. Try this. Let's take some money out. Please select a transaction. I'm gonna need a lot. Just take out a bunch of money for a second. Make sure we upgrade our kit. Bye. Okay, coin of defense. First one for Ness. You can equip it here, yes. Yeah, sure. By Point of defense for Jeff. Yes. And yes. Okay, now let's go get the gold bracelets for them. When I grow up, I want to work for Ape as a programmer. Do you have any connections with those guys? Yes. Oh, you didn't have to answer. It was dumb of me to ask you that question. <laughs> okay. Thanks for getting another sub, man. Oh, you didn't have to answer. It was dumb of me to ask you that question. Bum, 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 bum. Hello there, how may I help you? Can I get you anything? Oh, wrong one. Two gold bracelets. Platinum bracelets on one person. Yeah. Who's gonna carry this? Paula. Defense changed by, up by five, and we'll sell that. Yes. Gold bracelets. Who's gonna carry this? Jeff, of course. Oh, nice. That went up significantly for him. You for you. Hey, that's good. Let's check the two doors now. Where they go? Oh, storeroom. 
appears to be nothing in here. Everybody just got some massive uh, defense gains here. That's pretty good. Also, finally fixed up the laser gun for Jeff, so that'll help him. <laughs> this is empty. Back down we go. Well, I can't exit out here. And look around. I had to open this place up for a reason. Boop, boop, ba -doop. The yo-yo is inaccurate as hell. I don't want to use it. Boop, ba -doop, ba -doop. Psst, kid, you want some stuff? Not too loud. Hyper beam. Ooh. Well then, who's gonna lug this around? Jeff, of course. I sell him the laser gun then? Forget it. I don't want to buy that junk. Look, buddy. Well, now I'm going to have to ditch that at the Escargo Express. Dude's selling illegal stuff there. Oh? Alien just stole my girlfriend. Oh, come on. Like the fifth time this week. Your attention, please. With the customer from Onet, Mr. Ness, please proceed to the office on the fourth floor. The customer net was Ness, fourth floor office. Gwarg. Well then. All right, Jeff. Let's go save the lady. Rip PK freeze. Those presents are coming for us. Musica. Dodge quickly. Ness fell asleep. Oh, this is fantastic. This is great. I love this. Ness woke up. Can we hit the damn enemy? That would be a fantastic way to change the- Oh, cool! Jeff is dead! Jeff is dead, everybody! That jerk. Wow, Ness got a whole lot there. Alright, um, let's go to the hospital. Cool. I just finished literally upgrading everyone, and you're telling me this crap happens? Do I have enough? Yeah, I got enough money. That was Bull crap right there. Check out that heliport. Huh? Why are the taxis coming at me? Oh, fantastic. Well then. I think maybe I should use the, the hotel now. So I can, like, if I die, I'll go back there instead of the desert. This part is one of the most what-the-hell difficulty spikes, apparently. Oh, boy. Ness is getting a whole bunch of stuff right there. Stuck. You cannot use Jeff's ghost as a hitbox for that. That's not fair. Yo, what the hell happened to this town? I am just trying to get to the hospital. <clears throat> Ouch. You won! At what cost? <gasps> Bro, what happened? I just wanted to do some shopping and then, like, the game was like, nah. There you go, Jeff. You happy? We better go heal at the hotel so we have it marked as a location. Hope enemies don't pop up along the way. Looks like the regular NPCs have disappeared. 
This part's some bull crap is what it is. One night stay will cost 150 bucks. 150. All right, wait for us, Paul. It's gonna be a little bit. <laughs> Give me a drink. Oh, oh, pissy after that. Dad, I'm gonna call you. This is some crap right here. Thanks for depositing more money. Appreciate it. Bored. Yeah, I should probably try and dodge the enemies at this part if I can, especially since I'm down one person. Yep, don't worry, I'll fix my good posture like a teddy. Okay, at least I'm not homesick. I'm close to level 40. Well, let's head back to the apartment store. It didn't seem like there were that many enemies in the way this path, so let's play it safe and go this way. I don't really care too much about the money that's on me. I don't get it. I heard a guy who looks like Monotoli. Okay, same thing. Most of the NPCs seem to have despawned. Apartment store is down this way. Let's get in there and hope for the best now. There is a lot of them in the way here. Okay then, records. Go, 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 go. PSI Teddy. Okay, break the record. Fashion quick. Press anything on this. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna come at me right away. Hang on. Damn it. Scalding coffee cup. Well then. Can I slime it or something? No, it's probably best if we just bash it and get the get it going. Holy crap, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage and it hits both of them. Holy crap. Cup of coffee. <laughs> okay. Chat, don't make me tap the sign about backseating. Ness, customer Ness, please hurry to Paula Guarg. Oh, fantastic. We're gonna have to fight him right away. I can't even open the menu fast enough. Okay. Auto fight is there. PSI Teddy. Don't. Didn't hit anyone. Didn't hit anyone. Good. Did not work on the record, but it hit that thing. Okay, good. He stopped. Break the record. Break the record. Give Ness a heal in a second here. Okay, that's a good level. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that's a very good one. Okay, we're almost to the office. Let's go ahead and use a life up on you. Hang on, what are their max HP? Eh. Just in case, do this to Jeff. Oh! I didn't even notice him. Damn it. Oh, darn it. Oh, no. Come on. Thank you, Franklin Badge. A little bit there. Good sleep didn't carry over. Ness, customer Ness, Gwarg, Gwag. 
Chopping Mall would be a cool location for a horror game, though. Gwarg, Gwarg, you finally made it. This department store is gonna be your grave, Gwag. You will be gone, and you will be burning, and... Wait a minute, I recognize this thing now. He was one of the alien's enemies in Mother 1, wasn't he? You will be gone, and you will be burning, and, well, you'll, you'll go to heaven. Okay, he had to correct himself. He can't say hell in the game. Department store spook. Okay, then. One of us. Used on Jeff. Spy on him. Try PSI fire. Ooh. Oh, that barely... That shield didn't do crap. He's not vulnerable to anything, huh? Okay, then. Hmm. Hang on. If that's the case, we'll go to a bash, and... Jeff, you know what? Just hit him with the big one. We don't have time for this. Hey, 572! That's almost as much damage as PK Freeze Gamma. Hell yes! You won! Ooh, that's a lot. Too bad Paula can't have any of that. Even though you could beat me, Master Gigas will avenge me. This moment, Paula should be Monotoli. Warg! Oh, crap. Well, guess we gotta leave, my boy. Oh, hey, everything's back. Anyone say anything different? Oh, never mind. Hang on a second. Hang on a second, everyone. Pictures taken instantaneously. Yeah, 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 okay. What a great photograph. I heard a sound like warg and it was loud. I wonder if someone was fighting. Power supply to the game was cut off. I wasted my money. Certainly it's very dangerous living in the city. Well, let's head down. Mm. I want to get out of here because they suddenly shut down the store and the power goes out. There's lots of strange things happening. Well, we got all we need. What did you do during the power outage? I was sitting here because I was scared. Oh boy. Somehow I felt like the lights would get turned off in the store. Guess it's just a mouse's sixth sense. Okay, Jeff, what do we got? Wait, checking my health there. Ah, he's right here, let's go. Last night, there was a solitaire tournament. Same dude. Elevators only for Master Pokey's use. Goes directly to 47th floor. Alright, just gonna... I'm not staring. I'm a good bear. <clears throat> Pardon me. Let's get in. Is this where I need to go? Check the other one first, then. <clears throat> Looking for Paula. Don't care about Pokey. You haven't changed much, Ness. Ah, oh, damn it. Mm -hmm. I guess I can try talking to Pokey, see if anything happens. Ooh la la, my poor old friend. What's your name? Peg's butt. Yeah, same thing. Alright, nothing there. Must never show your face around Master Pokey, you got that? Private elevator, not for operation. Okay. Whoops, I was almost going to beat you up. 
Well, okay, they, he said the Mont Montatoli building. I guess I'll go talk to the hint guy. Hit down. How about talking to you? Hello, baby face. What brings you here? Oh, nothing. Where is it? Okay, it's over there. The town isn't freaking out anymore. There aren't any taxis running around. Now, wait a minute, youngster. I could give you a great hint for $75. Sure. Have you been to Jackie's Cafe? It's not difficult to find. Sign says cafe. Is there a... Have I seen that building yet? I don't think I have. The planning meeting place. Um... That's just the bakery. Maybe it's that. Inflation again. Let's get him, everybody. How much does he give? Eh, jack crap, that's what he gives. Ah, here it is. Hang on. Come here, butterfly. Come here! Where are you going? There we go. A little bit extra for us. Now let's head to the cafe. See if anything changes here. Huh. Surprised you talked to an ordinary guy like me. I have no information or items to help you out. Don't you think it's natural for a guy like me to be here? I enjoy the atmosphere. By the way, let me quiz you. There are five apples. If you eat one, how many are left? Five minus one is four, so four is left. Ah, it's not funny. Okay, here's another one. Master Pokey's made Electra is made to order. Oh, puns aren't funny either? Hey, bro. I was in the middle of a caffeine buzz. Oh, I'm sure you were. And I had to get to the bathroom fast. When I got there, I accidentally knocked on the wall and said the restroom. The next thing I knew, someone asked, who is it? Really surprised me. Maybe I just imagined it. I used to be Monotoli's employer. Then I realized his schemes made my company go bankrupt. My house and my land were taken away. Now I'm homeless. Monotoli didn't used to be so powerful. I want to find his secrets, so I'm spending my time here watching to see if he ever drops in. There's a loud noise outside. Must be the seventh inning stretch. The fans are singing Take Me Out to the Ball Game at the stadium. What? Does, does Mr. Geldegard Monotoli come here often? Hello, time to get up. It could never happen. Well, it's actually not true. All right. Seems like it's just for decoration. Okay, then. Uh, yo, what happened here? He doesn't look like a nice man. There's a person lying on the ground. Wonder if he's... Oh, I don't like seeing a corpse here. He's breathing. He has to be playing too hard. Just been playing too hard? Hang on. Around? Doesn't look like I can. No. Maybe I gotta go back in. Said tap the wall. Must be the seventh inning stretch. Problem here. Maybe he hasn't had his coffee yet. Oh, no, no. I don't want to go like that. I'm glad it wasn't me. He doesn't look like a nice man. Don't cut in front of me. You give me something, I'll let you have my spot. Oh, okay. What do I get? Dumb. Cup of coffee? Are you sure? All right, take my place. Please. Aren't you Ness? I can't see too well. Everything's blurry. You are Ness, aren't you? He wants 
He wants the contact lenses, doesn't he? We met in Tucson, Everdred, and Berglund Park. You must remember, I'm the best thief around. That carpenter, car painter, and happy village was hiding something. Wee's strange. I stole it. I thought about selling it in the big city. An old city wise man called it Mani Mani. It's a strange colored doll looking thing. Ooh, I'm in pain. And Monotoli tricked me and stole it from me. He, tri he tricked a thief. He wanted me out of the way because I know his secret. He gets his evil power from the statue. Listen, I'll tell you once. At the cafe, check behind the counter. I said I'd tell you once, but if you insist, I'll tell you once more. You want to hear it again? Yes. Aren't you Ness? <laughs> oh, he's going to repeat the whole thing? Okay. I just wanted to repeat that one thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've told you twice already. <laughs> Does- how- how many- how many can you make him say that and the dialogue will change? Tell you once more. Do you want to hear it again? No. Before I go, here's my last haiku poem. When on your way out, be sure that you say goodbye, then lock the door tight. This is my final request. Don't follow me. I must be on my way. Whoa. So long. Okay. Clearly he's not dead. Don't you feel better since you had the chance to talk with your friend? I helped you find him. You should really go to the hospital like other sick people do. Is that man gonna... He stared right at me. Ooh, it was scary. He's not dead? I thought he may have passed on. You know him? He must be a dangerous kid. I'll bet you're on your way to Jackie's Cafe right now. Why do I get the feeling that that's not a cafe in the Japanese version? What, can you check this before talking to him? What? Mr. B -b no, I'm talking to you. Go away. Eh, doing that. No problem here. Question marks? Whoa! What happened here? No, that's right. I'm the host here. What? Boarside? Are you still sleeping? This is Moonside. Yes, that's wrong. I'm the hostess here. Oh, this wants to fight? Robo-pump. Alright then. That background's even more trippy. It's- oh god, it's gonna explode in a second, isn't it, if I don't kill it. It's a lot. You can glitch in the tent in three to get hit sent here. Ah, speedrun warp. Yes is no, and no is yes. It makes perfect sense in Moonside. Uh, okay then. This is one of the most craziest parts of Earthbound. Right, they're coming. Enrage, fire plug, and hydrant. Okay, then. Break them. PSI Teddy Blast. Whispered three. Let's bash them. Excellent. Look at the face that. Oh! That hurts. Now finish it, finish it! Okay, good, good. Thank goodness. Well, Jeff got a level up. Very modest amount of stuff there. Okay, then, hang on. This is some trippy stuff right here. Use this on Ness. Do you understand all this? Yes? No? You don't? Tell you the truth, neither do I. Good. I'm glad you get it. Why is there a floating painting now, too? Welcome to Moonside. Welcome to Soonmide. Moonwell at Osa 
cussed me. Well, another fight already. Okay, let's hit him with another big teddy blast there. Hmm. Bash to finish this up. Oh, jeez, that does a lot. Okay, the Robo Pump should break here. That water is deadly. side of town. Wait. No problem here. Hello, and goodbye. Well, stuck here. Abstract art? They look like puppets from my friendly neighborhood. Okay, it's not too much of a fight here. Well, Ness got a level up. He clearly needs it. There's a protein drink inside. Oh, okay then. Um, can't walk up there. It's like, are there invisible walls here or what? This music sounds like something I'd hear in, like, an RPG Maker game. I feel like you can say that a lot about things in Earthbound, can't you? Yeah, we should be able to take this thing out before it blows. You won! Uh... How do I get out of here? We're talking to this one. Hello, and goodbye. Dude, there are so many enemies here. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna die and get kicked out of this place very shortly, aren't I? Hold up. This would be a lot better if I had Paula, obviously, but they wanted to take away my PK freeze that I've been holding on to. I'm gonna use another PSI, because I might have to- Oh, I'm out of PP? Damn. Okay, then. Okay, the plug doesn't have that much. Hang on. 4,500. Hang on. Damn it! I've barely been able to take five steps out of this cafe, it feels like. And I'm just continuously getting swarmed with enemies. I've already used up all of Ness's PP here, too. Leave. No, that's right, I'm the host here. Doesn't look like I can leave, no. Well. Guess we'll see what happens if I get kicked out via death. Hydrate. Hang on a second. That guy teleports me. Okay, let's have a look around. Bash it and get out of the way. We're officially in bash mode until I run out of stuff, because I have no PP. Let's see what I can look for. I can sense you have a controller in your hands. Ah, everyone is someone. Don't you think so? No. 
Wahaha. Hehehe. Uh. Oons. Yeah. Oon. Whatever. Ness's HP drops to zero. Jeff's HP drops to zero. Okay then. Wonder if he did something to me. There we go. Oh, the phone's freaking out. Ness picked up the receiver. Ness, it's your dad. I deposited this much in your bank account. Taking away what you've spent, you should now have this much. Well, AXP to get to next level. Anyway, what do you need? All done. Your dear old dad was also thinking about hitting the hay. Create a record. Good night. This is the Dark Moon Hotel. One sleep period is 150. Do you want to sleep? Yeah, I definitely should. You're actually going to try to stay up? Ha ha ha. Oh. Right, I have to say no. Alright, here we go. Oh, God. Well, alright then. Good morn- uh, not morning. Here in Moonside, it's always the middle of the night. Headline from tonight's Moonside Press. Money, money is always money, money at money, money with all money, money, money. Okay, then. Hey, how you doing? From the look of things, I would say not so good. Do you need something? Okay, so I can buy stuff right now. That's not too bad. Let's see ya. I feel like I should put some of my money away. No, no, no. Oh, is it? Okay, good thing that's not reversed. Just, uh... Put a good amount away in case I die. Okay. I'm assuming this part lasts for a while because I was gonna I was gonna change game soon, but geez, I wasn't expecting to come up to this. Not busy right now. Okay, hospital is still the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. I said no, which meant yes. <laughs> of course, I did that. It's actually not too long. Okay, maybe I could finish this part then. I'm pretty forgetful. I even forgot why I'm here. Hmm, I just forgot something. Who am I? Am I a man? This is sealed off. Is this a double burger? Sure, we'll take a double burger. What am I holding? We got room for one more thing. Ah, crap. Fire. Okay, well, now that we're doing this, we'll do that. Nice. There we go. Damn, that does a lot. Oh, man, come on. No! Jeez, one battle and immediately I'm getting murdered again. I might as well immediately just go sleep at the hotel right now. <laughs> Opposite land. This area looks like the creepy place that inspired every creepy place in every RPG horror game, almost. Alrighty. Let us advance. I will send you first, and then you second, to the hospital. Oh. And there's enemies in the hospital, too. That's fantastic. Get out of the way. Bro, bro, bro! What, what the hell is your problem? <laughs> now we gotta fight this melting clock. Dolly's clock? Is that what that said? Yeah, it is. Okay. Let's crack it open. Throws me in time. Time started again. Well then. 
Hey, parking meters, and you're walking around. Haha, <laughs> so funny. Welcome to Moonside. Get going here. How about I sharpen you? I just love sharpening. You don't want me to sharpen? Well, 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 welcome. The game is lagging so- Oh god, I'm gonna get slaughtered here. Okay, it's only one. Uh-oh, I missed. Finish it. Okay, good. Wait, I actually can go inside the museum? The door? I just missed the door or something? I very clearly was, like, popping against that, though. Oh, now it worked. Okay. Do you know whose bones are on display here? The answer is your bones. My bones. Bones, bones, bone, bone, bone. All right, then. Jeff, we got work to do. Nice. Okay, Jeff got a level. Okay, I'll take that offense increase. IQ went up. Maximum HP went up. Bones are great. Do you like bones? You like bones? Bone, bone, bone. You don't like bones? Bone, bone, bone. Okay, nothing else here. Welcome to Moonside. Why'd you come to Moonside? How long are you staying in Moonside? Yeah, righty. Everything is fantastic here, clearly. Two fifty-seven, two fifty-six, two fifty-five, two fifty-four. What's your problem? If you don't want anything, get out of here. I'm counting backwards. Two fifty-two, two fifty-one. Okay, invisible wall there. I guess I have to stick to the streets because whenever I wander away from the streets, everything just kind of gets me in the invisible wall. Nice. You know what else has moons? Teddy Ursa. Teddy Ursa has a moon symbol on its head. Run, run, run. Damn it. Okay, I gotta fight this one. At least they're showing up in groups of one so I can manage them better. Dude, what is this difficulty spike? As soon as Paula got snatched at the mall, it just all went to crap here. Okay. Get that. Doesn't look like it. I guess I need to talk to one of those guys and warp somewhere again, clearly. Hello and goodbye. The Monty Monty statue's up ahead, but I'm gonna stop you right here. Don't even think about getting past me, because you aren't with a guy whose eyebrows are connected and who also has a gold tooth. Okay, then. What? Is this a special hobby of yours? You like watching people count backwards? 62, 61? Ba-boom! Wow, I scared myself. I got surprised. Okay, he's right there for this. Find a different teleporter, dude. Let's fight this one. Why do I like Teddy Ursa? Because it's a cute bear! What's not to love about cute bears? Break it. You win! Okay, Ness needs a level. Ah, uh, that's not gonna do too much. One offense is just eh. Okay, this loops back around to the start. What about you? Okay, this puts me here. Okay, so I need to find a guy whose eyebrows are connected and has a gold tooth, apparently. Well then. Oh, don't do that. Alright, let's hit it. 
figure this out. Give people another chunky long Earthbound VOD. I've uploaded a lot of this game in the past week, haven't I? We've kind of been going through it. I figured if I was going to start a game like this, I should, like, play it at, like, a... Or rather, I'm trying to mandate a game that I play at more of a pace. Or play at a faster pace. You know what I'm trying to say. Some games can go on forever, so I just kind of play them, like, once a week or so to get my fill of them. Let's see. But this one, you know, you want to kind of go all in. Make it, like, almost your main game for a bit. What about you down here? No problem here. Hello. And goodbye. Oh. A night pendant. Jeff takes it. Night pendant. Huh? Is that for the body? Oh yeah, I guess he can make use of that right now. That's pretty good. Okay. Check his goods, though. Hold up. Night pendant... Must be equipped. It absorbs the light of a flash attack. Okay. Hello? I guess I just gotta find the right warp dude to talk to. I've been here. I spy with my little eye, Alakazam. I see a country in summer and big silver ball. If you're burnt, but you're fine. That's what I see. And bag strap. Much stuff. Okay, let me just eat a burger then. And what does that do? When used as a whip during battle, the enemy takes damage. Stop moving for a short time. Gone after one use. What an item. What an item, apparently. Look around. Hang on, didn't Yume Niki also have a world that was very similar looking to this now that I think about it? that. Yeah, smash. A little bit right there. Yeah, the neon level in Yume Niki. That's what this reminds me more of. Oh, hang on. Okay, it's blocked. I guess maybe talking to this guy right here will be it. Hello, and goodbye. Please put me in front of the thing. Uh, before the soup gets cold, we must care for money, money. Before the knife gets rusty, we must care for money, money. Can I go down here? Doesn't look like it, no. Hello, and, oh wait, what? Shall I? Yes, welcome to Moonside, welcome to Moo. Moo, 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 moo. Check this first. Secret herb, ah, it's a spice, we don't need it. Then, goodbye. Can you see me? No? Haha, <laughs> you can, huh? You've become a real Moonsidian, haven't you? Yeah, you're definitely not from around here. Get going now. Here's your hat. What's your hurry? What the? You're looking for some kind of door? Well, you're not gonna find one. So get out of my face, loser. I have no patience when people interrupt me while I'm busy doing nothing. What? Where am I? Haha, it's me! You can see me, right? There's something interesting about you, so I'm gonna follow you. Don't worry, though. Haha. <laughs> you get into a fight, I'll stay out of it. Uh, maybe this is the person who can, like, um, can't see me. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Hey, don't you wish you had a gold tooth like mine? Okay, yeah, yeah, I need you to get the guy moved out of the way. I understand. Okay, so I think I did it right. Smile, smile. Eh, yo, don't you think my eyebrows rock? Check them out, they're connected. You know, which warp fella was it? No, wait, I think I can just walk down here. Yes. Money, money statues up ahead. Huzzah, you really surprised me. You're the man whose eyebrows are connected and who has a gold tooth. How about we dump these kids and get something to drink? Okay. Don't do anything to me. I'm not Monotoli. Oh. It's a golden statue you have seen before. Evil Money Money attacked. Well then. Let's fight, chat. Hmm. 
Let me try this, and we're gonna spy its weakness. 109. It doesn't have any weakness. Fantastic. Did not work on this. That one bottle rocket. 97. Damn, it's not very much. Bash goods. Didn't activate a shield, so no point in that, right? How does this work? Let me try it. Ugh. It did not work. Alright. And Jeff is paralyzed? Never mind. I thought it was gonna work. Damn. Okay, good. Can I slime it, maybe? Pale green light, the effects of PSI are gone. Okay, so it just breaks everything. Did not work. Okay. Let's try just shooting it then, how about that? Hmm. I'm not sure using any status effects would even be worth it on him. Oh, nice! Okay, just get the crit, that's the strat. Ooh, that's a lot. No level up, though. Uh, the Mani Mani statue was actually a device that created illusions. The illusion device was destroyed. Damn, that was a trip. Where am I? You were wandering around the warehouse with a vacant, faraway look in your eyes. Were you daydreaming? Okay. Hello, this is Apple Kid. I've come up with another wacky invention that has real potential. Maybe you won't, but anyway, it's called the Gourmet Yogurt Machine. It makes many different flavors of yogurt. The only problem is, right now, you can only make trout-flavored yogurt. So I'm having the machine delivered to you via Escargo Express. Coming, uh, it's coming neglected class. <laughs> Hopefully you get it soon. Yeah, everything is kaboom. Uh, I've got some problems here. Gotta go, bye. Okay, that was wild. So I wandered into the basement of the of the cafe, that's totally not a bar, and the statue was just giving me an illusion. Moonside was just a wild trip. Wow. Interesting. Uh Okay, Jeff can carry it, we're fine. Monkey. Ah! You alright? I'm not a delivery man. I can't remember if we've met. Alarama just finished fasting, and now wants to meet you at the west end of Dusty Dunes Desert, in a cave with lots of monkeys. I'll use my teleportation to... Bye. Okay, so I need to go to the monkey cave. He's doing the teleport run! Crash. Oops. Crunch. Oops. Greetings, it's Escargo Express's neglected class. I just got here from Dusty Dune Desert. There was this sunbathing guy, and he told me about a cave with lots of monkeys. Or was it orangutans? Anyway, he said, well, uh, forgot. Yeah, I forgot, actually. I forgot the stuff I was supposed to deliver, to. I think it was some weird machine to make trout-flavored yogurt. Yeah, I forgot it at the desert. I'm not going back that way, so don't ask me to get the package. I mean, it's your package, right? So you go get it. <laughs> this is some great service, I gotta say. You're gonna make sure they get five stars when, uh, we're done here. Come on, get out of here. Maybe that thing I forgot is important to you, so have a good time in the desert. Hello, I heard you talking about trout-flavored yogurt. I'm a maid who serves Mr. Monito- oh, okay. Mr. Monitoli, and I'm looking for trout-flavored <laughs> yogurt to give to our special guest. If you know anything about it, please tell me. I've been searching and searching. Okay. Here we go. Hello, friend. Welcome to the stream. Appreciate it. Oh, pardon me, I'm stuffy. Okay, so we just finished, um, we just finished Moonside. This is your favorite part of the game? It is pretty trippy, isn't it? Let's see how it's inspired a bunch. Um, I'm thinking it might be best for me to save at the hotel and call it, a, and call, uh, call it an episode here. Oh, the taxis want to fight again. Deal with them. Let's break it. 
Let's fire a few shots at that taxi. It'll get the message. Am I still crying? No, okay, good. Hold up. How much money I got? Enough to stay here. This is a good place to stop, you'd say? Yeah, alrighty. First, let's heal. Man, the enemies, as soon as Paula, like, uh, got abducted there, like, that was pretty wild. Like, everything just suddenly became a freaking murder machine, and I, it was looking like I was over-leveled for a while, too. I mean, obviously, losing one of the best party members was a bit of a downside there. All dead. Record. Your dear old dad was thinking about hitting the hay. I'm not sure what money money even means. Okay. We made a save. And how long have I been going? Almost three and a half. I was close to four hours last time, but mostly these have been around three hours long. This has been fun, chat. But uh, we're going to take a break, switch games. I'm trying not to go like extremely overboard with streaming today because I did a lot of long ones the past couple days. Oof. I got lucky. It could have been much worse. That first electric thing was slaughtering us. It put us to sleep, too. Anyways, if you're watching on YouTube, I hope you're all still enjoying this series. I've been getting the episodes for this rather fast. I think in the future, going forward, I am gonna, like, pick a game, like, a playthrough like Earthbound, and just kind of prioritize it as, like, the main thing in the week, I'd say. Because I, I like to play a lot of games lately that kind of just go on for a long time, and I just kind of play them when I'm in the mood, but things like this where you just want to, like, uh, go through it over the course of a couple weeks is probably best. Anyways, for YouTube, this is where the recording stops. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Have a good night. Bye-bye.